How's it going, guys? Ah. Kind of intro with that. I don't know what to do with myself. Ah. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Sunday Sippin', where we begin and end every week. With a conversation and a lot of drinks. I'm Trey. I'm Ling. This is Brew. Yeah, Brew's not here. Oh yeah! This is Brew. That's our dog. And we'll go back to Sunday Sippin'. <laughs> Hi, Wildflower! Yeah. You are indeed the first one here. Oh, gosh. How's Sorry. your day been? I hope you had a good day. Other than the persimmon accident that happened this morning. Persimmon accident? I think she got a really unripe persimmon, or she's like hella allergic to it. Because she had, she had a not good experience with it. What happened? She basically thought she was dying. No. She she tried a bit of the persimmon mm. and she said that literally those you know that one episode of SpongeBob where he like was it he licked something and I think he, he like, was eating Gary's food and yeah and touching he, like Bleh. yeah and then <laughs> took one bite of my whole mouth and throat went dry so oh, it sounds God. like a really unripe persimmon but I've never had the kind that she had before so the orange one right. Yeah, there's ones that are like shaped like Roma tom tomatoes, and there's ones that are shaped like you know like beef steak regular tomatoes. She yeah. had the one that was like oval shaped, which I've never had before. So, hmm. well, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was lazy. That's good. Also, let us know if the the audio is too loud, or if we need to be louder, or or if music needs to be softer. Yeah, just let us know if the sound is good in general. Yes, um, that was probably. I'm gonna turn this up. Just a little bit. There we go. Um, but yeah, so crisp. what's everyone sipping on today? Um, crisp. We are about to sip on a lot of cocktails, actually. Crisp. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to do some cocktails. Yes. Um, but we're doing basic cocktails. We're not going to do anything experimental or anything. At least as of right now. We're going to yes. just try to make... Trying to fight me? We're just gonna try to make some nice old fashioned, no pun intended, cocktails. Ha ha ha. Try to make an old fashioned, ha, ha, ha. maybe like martini, ha, ha, ha. Cosmo. Trying to hydrate more. <laughs> Speaking of water. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that persimmon took every ounce of water out of her. Hmm. <laughs> you ever get water? And like, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> I have a jinx. <laughs> hey everybody! <laughs> What's going on, Fisty? How's it going, Raiders? <laughs> thanks for the raid. Uh, was that Fisty? Yeah, thanks for the raid, Fisty. What up, everybody? How's the chicken? How's the chicken? Know. He's making Nashville hot chicken and waffles. He made is making. How is making? Well, how making. was it, dude? The that chicken looked crisp as hell. Those waffles look fluffy, nice and golden as hell. Do you like fluffy waffles or crispy waffles? Depends. I like both. <coughs> I'm a crispy waffle person. Yeah. Everybody to your stations. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Brianna, and there's Cat. There's Dixie. How's it going, Dixie? What's up? There's steak and bacon. What's up? Welcome to the BLT bar. I was hanging out last night. I like uh, that name. Steak and bacon. Steak and bacon. <laughs> fluffy in the center and crispy edges. Yeah, that's... Crisp outside, fluffy inside. Damn, yeah, yeah. everybody. I didn't mean I want a hard, crispy waffle. I mean, like, the ones where it's like... <laughs> I don't like Waffle House waffles because it's just like a foam, like, pancake. Yeah, it does feel like foam. See if you knows what's up. Oh, yeah. Hold on, put put the put steak the and bacon down a little the bit because I'm peeking, because I'm loud as hell. There we go. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> Here's against Waffle House. Yes. I hate Waffle House. Bro. <laughs> I don't know if you guys. Oh, here, here is against Waffle House. A pancake-shaped waffle. Ooh. Okay. Why is Bruce? He, he knows we're streaming, so he's expecting, like, a treat because someone will redeem a treat. Uh, the second we say, like, hello, he knows that a treat is coming sometime. He gotcha. just doesn't know when. 
he knows when the computer comes on and we're talking to no one. He's like, he's like oh, there's oh, treats. Shit. Mom and what? Dad are being crazy. What are treats? Here comes the food. <laughs> there. Okay, we got some pets in here. Come here. He's like, yes. All right, Cat gave Bruce some pets and uh -huh. a treat though. For everyone who has not met him yet, this is the B in the BLT bar. Everybody say hi to Bruce. Bruce, say hi to everybody. You're just fiending over these treats. Jesus Christ. It's like a rabbit. Here's, here's pets. Ooh. Look at pets. What a cutie. He's cute sometimes. Yeah. Aren't you? He's Aren't ugly you? most of the time. But we love him. Yeah. But yeah. He's one of those ugly cute dogs. Trey loves those. I do. The ugly and the... Well, they have to be ugly cute. They can't just be... Like, there's those... I think it's called a Sholo and it's quaintly. It's a, it's a kind of dog where it's like a... It's a fucked up looking dog. Oh, Their God. skin's like leathery and like wrinkly. But it's like a black and brown color, and they don't have hair in certain areas, and their eyes bug out. Oh God! <laughs> it's it's a it's a ugly ass dog. It takes a certain person to love them. Are you talking about the Chinese Preston? I don't. Oh, he's not. But like that, when I visit, oh, you. I think you'll be good. <laughs> I think the dog I'm specifically thinking of is a. Uh, I do Shola. know what a Chinese Preston looks like. Though. Yeah, I mean, it's a color. It's called a Sholo. Uh, Sholo ones cleanly. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's ugly. All right, so I'm gonna start making a cocktail. What am I making first? We are making the last word first. That okay. should be the first cocktail we're making. So for everybody just joining us, y'all let us know what you're sipping on, if you're sipping on anything. Um, wait, give me your phone. Please. Your... What's up, King? I think he's talking about Pug from Men in Black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> King. What's up, King? Trey, check the Facebook messages. Oh, okay. She has my phone. This one? Not this one. I do know what this one. So is. I know what that one is. The one I'm talking Damn, about. Damn, this man do not check his messages. <laughs> Dude, I'm t I'm telling when I tell people I don't text. Water gonna get crunk. Yeah, positive. Let's go. Let's see. Solo. Damn, bro! This looks good as hell! This looks way better than when we had a party foul. <laughs> that looks really good. This looks good as fuck! Good job, Fisty. Um, if we could have Wildflower, if you don't mind to go ahead and give Fisty a shout out. Um, I think everybody in here is, has come from Fisty, but fuck it, we're gonna give you a shout out anyway. If you have not already given the lovely little Fisty cover a follow yeah. and some love. Please go do that on his channel. He has a variety of Oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys his dog. You can just use this camera. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. A band? Sure. <laughs> Wildflower. She's got her hammer ready. She's like... Bah! <laughs> Thank you, Wildflower. But yes, Fisty is a lovely friend of ours. He cooks. He races cars and Euro truck sims and... Plays spoopy games and all that. And all that fun. <laughs> oh, the stream element still doesn't know how to. T <laughs> do the second one. Yes, do the second one. I'm gonna do. Discord. Feelings! What's up, feelings? Hiroshima. Also, I think I've picked the movie that I'm going to be watching for Feelings' podcast with his friend. Okay. It is I Saw the Devil. That's a good movie. Okay. He gave me a little bit of like like a, like a content well, warning because it's kind of gory apparently. Yeah. But if it's gory and has good plot, I can watch it. You know, Attack on Titan is one of my favorites. But it's like fake gory. You know what I'm saying? Like it's all drawn. I warned you! <laughs> Confetti Glock. Pepper. Oh shit! Oh, Prue! I stepped on your turkey. Maraschino liqueur. Oh, Trey's actually making a cocktail. I'm over here just fucking yeah, around. I, I, I told I'm you so, I was making a cocktail. You know what? I'm just gonna continue I'm making it. <laughs> 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 I'm 
like Donnie from the Wall Thornberries. It's a great movie, but very dark. Okay, as long as it's good, I'm here for it. So, I don't think we can find the correct, um, what's it called, cherry to garnish with, but uh, I did find red tart cherries and I found maraschino cherries. Take your pick. Oh, that's a cute little... I couldn't remember if we had more or not, so it's in the tiny one. I'm gonna keep this little bottle. It looks like a like a like a potion. It does. D and D. Look at that. Jerry gets to review Christmas Vacation. Name the yes. review. I saw the devil. This seems off. <laughs> you know what? It does. <laughs> that would be definitely a reverse. Oh my god. Because I'm I'm always reviewing. Like horror movies and like really dark, fucked up movies. Yeah. So I kind of want to take a different approach this time. And like, okay. you know what? I actually watch a what movie watching? shit too. A Christmas story, I think. Oh. Or no, a cr Christmas vacation. That's what it is. Okay, I don't know what that is, but. You never seen it? Myra Shino. No. Just, just assume that I haven't seen <laughs> anything. All right. All right so going. we, uh, this first drink we are making is called the the last. Is it the last word? The last word. And we are making this uh, per request of feelings. Um, this was, this is going to be a tribute drink to one of his good friends. So this, we're hoping that we make it well. <laughs> I think we've got everything except for the, the correct, well, yeah, the correct glass, glass and yeah. the correct cherries. But this goes out to you and your friend feelings. <laughs> I'm not crying, shit. It's okay to cry, listen. As I was saying like 20 minutes ago, therapy's good, knowing your emotions is good. It's all right, man. Being yeah. in tune with your emotions is a very positive thing. Why is it called the last word? I actually don't know. Um, I feel like it'd be a fun episode of Sunday Seven to do like etymology or like yeah. origins of cocktail names. Because mm -hmm. um, I think we recently looked up why is an old fashioned called an old fashioned? Yeah. And I think we. If you asked me to pop quiz that, I probably would not pass because I don't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> okay, what do you need? <laughs> okay. I, I like how Sunny Sippin has like evolved into, hey guys, we're gonna make drinks, and I'm like, all right, you ready to get started? And you're like, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna make this a drink. I start <gasps> making the drinking, and then you're like, no, 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 wait, wait, <laughs> I'll make it. And then I'm like, all right, here you go. And you're like. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Muffin! <laughs> oh, <laughs> so it's a perfect... I make the drink. Uh, okay. Anyway, I can't actually help you out. Oh, do you want to use banana? Do you use... No, that, I just brought this out. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Alright, alright. Well, people live to give the last word to prove they are right. Yeah, they do. Okay. Where's that? Freezer? It's in the freezer. Okay. I originally... Oh, it's because I got distracted because I looked at the dog. Okay. Juice. Okay. All so right. So I've always heard that... Ah! Ah! <laughs> we, we were really dramatic on that one. It actually hit the top of her foam shoe. <laughs> So we both screamed for like no reason. <laughs> I had tiny tickles a little bit. Sorry. Bruh! I'm trying to like... <laughs> All I did was this. Uh -huh. I didn't even catch it. Um, what was I going to say? Shit. <laughs> oh, I heard that there's a little like unspoken rule. Uh, dude, those toes are going to scream. <laughs> uh, an unspoken rule where you put it in the cheapest ingredient first when you're pouring the drink uh, as you're building the drink oh so when you're building the drink you want to put in your cheap ingredients first that's what i've heard got any bartenders out there feelings can you can you confirm or deny <laughs> trey are you off tomorrow or not i unfortunately work tomorrow um yeah i get off at 4 30 but i don't know if i work the distillery nope Okay. Yeah, I am off tomorrow, uh, half the day. So I got after four, yeah, after four thirty. Uh, uh, peeler, I will make the garnish. Okay. <laughs> all right. Add all ingredients into a standard cocktail shaker. Fill with cracked ice and shake until chilled. Okay. So we need one ounce of gin. One ounce of gin. So should I use tangere or should I use? They said something. Dry. Uh, I don't. I don't think. 
Dryosaur uh, using an American gym as they typically will allow the maraschino and chartreuse to shine. Technically you can. That's better for dry shake. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so are we using Tangeray then? Is there another gym? No, no, no. He was saying for dry shake uh, adding the ingredients. <gasps> oh, okay, yeah. okay. Um, What kind of gin is American? America? We have the spruce gin. We have no, the spruce gin's gone. Oh. There's well, this one. We have this one right here. Twin spirits. Here, let's go with this one. We actually haven't tried this one yet. Okay. Woo! Hey, Tony. What's up? How's it going, Tony? Welcome on in. I do want to try the green chartreuse one. on its own. I've never had it before. I've seen it. Yeah, right I definitely there. want to try that by itself too, just to yeah. get a flavor profile. I've seen it on its. Uh, I've seen it on a couple cocktail lists, actually, on some places that we've visited recently. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, you are A-OK, -okay, friend. Don't even worry about it. I'm going to grab that we're just, over here. We're just happy to see ya. Okay. Bree's over here guarding the stairs. <laughs> okay. Um. Peace. Okay. No? All right. What are you looking for? Pure. Oh. Mm. Ooh, that was nice. So. Let's try a little bit of that. This is, we're just doing a taste of the Twin Spirits Distillery Small Batch Gin. Uh, this gin actually was a gift from Fisty himself. He actually came to visit uh, last, last week. Last week. Um, yeah, so he invaded the BLT bar for a little bit, yes, and it was a lot of fun. Enemy territory. Yep. Frenemy territory. Enemies so, to lovers territory. Enemies to Enem lovers. <laughs> People like that that dynamic, right? <laughs> dream, dream, wow. Well, dream dream. juice is a good liquor that can be served as a digestive. Oh, okay. Had to do some stuff before I could hop on. What are we doing? We are making um, some classic cocktails today, but we've got one cocktail right now that we have, we're have. we gonna be making um, per feelings as request. Uh, and then he's actually gonna be helping us. Uh, he has very kindly helped us with some other cocktails as well that we will be creating tonight. <laughs> Whoa, lovers. Else <laughs> <laughs> Morales Einstein says, time is irrelevant. <laughs> Maybe I'm not late. Maybe you guys are early. <laughs> kind of just a construct. Which I guess... I mean, it is. It kind of is. I don't know. There was someone that... I saw a post that said, you don't believe in astrology, but you you think that it's 2 o'clock right now? <laughs> what kind of bullshit is this? And I was like... <laughs> oh. This smells really nice. So, not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. And not as junipery, junipery as I thought it was going to be. Very orange, but not like sweet orange. It's like oh, um, actually, like dry orange pit. I feel like this is headed towards a like a vodka. A vodka? Yeah, like it's 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 very light. Like, I mean, it's not very it's not too flavorful, but I still get those herbs and stuff. It's I won't. I don't know. I, I can like barely get the juniper though. It's the juniper isn't really that piney taste. It's more the bitterness from the juniper. Yeah, I definitely do get the orange. Hmm. This was some cranberry juice would be rocking. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> so are we using this gin? Or I think this gin would be a good one to use in this cocktail. Okay, because we also have violet in the fog. Okay, so let's let's try to build it. Let's let's be smart. Okay. We've got chartreuse. Let's try what chartreuse tastes like first, and then we can pick the gin from that tasting what we're idea. gonna be in there. Hmm? Cause I've never I've never had it. So <laughs> I I had to go to two separate uh, liquor stores in town today to look for a couple of these ingredients. Um, and there was one I had been avoiding 
Because we had a bad experience. Well, collective, it was because he went there a, a little a little bit ago, and the person who gave us grief was not there, so that was nice. But the time before that, we did go. There was someone there that gave us some grief. Some at the liquor store? Yes. At, that kid that was younger than me? Yeah, that, that snot nosed little brat. <laughs> hey! You guys need to have your IDs when you come in here. Oh, shit. Sorry, bro. Take that ID. No. You have to show it to me when you leave. Then why the fuck did you ask why now? Why did you ask for my fucking... I don't remember if ever... Has, has... Have we told this story to everybody here yet or not? I know we've said it before. I'm not... All right. As you were, as you were pouring the green chartreuse, I'll go ahead and tell it again. Because I was telling Patrick today at work. I haven't heard. Okay. So, there's a liquor store that's... There's one that's closest to us. We usually go to that one because it's one closer. Uh, the worst liquor store kid ever. <laughs> yes! Liquor store kid. That's a good band name. Liquor store kid. Liquor I store know. Kid. Please welcome to the stage. Liquor, liquor store, store kid. They're they're like a punk. They're or they're like Midwestern anyway. Oh. <laughs> uh so wait, hold on. Let me let me let me process this real quick before I tell the story, because this is different. That is full of so many herbs. Yes, it's very herbaceous. <laughs> For those of you guys wow. who still keep in count. It smells like, oh, it smells, oh, it smells like this. It smells like, oh, 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 oh. Smells like, smells like, smells like, oh! <laughs> You're remixing that shit. Yeah, I, I, it, it just like really struck a core memory, bro. Um, whenever we get bit ready for like big. <laughs> nah, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice of music. <laughs> we don't have to spend any drinks for our mini musical. <laughs> <laughs> you saved your 12 grand. <sighs> this smells like a party. So. Whenever we get, like, Lao get-togethers involve a lot of, like, food, obviously, but there's always, like, a plate of fresh veggies that they'll have, and it, it complements the food, like, the lap, the meat salad, and, like, the salads that you eat and stuff, and this smells like prepping all of those vegetables and those veggies. This smells like wild, like, grass, um... Like, okay, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Deep, I get, like, dig deeper for it, I get, like, rosemary, too. Okay. Herbs. It's literally... Just herb. But I think it's like an herb liquor, right? Hey, Trey, you know what you should have done? What should I have done? This smells like a party. Oh. <laughs> it does! That's, this is like absence, like younger little shit brother. No, see, I feel like this is like, tame really sweet. little sister. I'm not talking about this. Doesn't taste like a little brother. Uh -oh. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but like, this feels like a like a sweet. What's her name that you have? The Julius's. Morella. Yeah, it tastes like. Do you know her demeanor? She's very like. Unassuming and just yeah, like, I'm just, in the corner. Yeah. Okay. Right. I guess it tastes like a sweet, like, it's like sweet and lily and light. Yes. What you're trying to say. Wow, this is not the smell does not match the taste, I don't think. It's sweet, but it's it's still herbal. Kinda yeah. gives me like a medicinal kind of taste. A little. Um a little bit of licorice. Oh yeah. A little anise. But it's like This anise. isn't like black licorice. It's like no. almost a protein, but it's like green apple licorice. It's, like... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, well, time to try this out. All right. Think out. Here we go. So, into a shaker. Oh, here you go. Here's this for you. Into a shaker. One ounce of gin. One ounce of ounce. One ounce of. I'm gonna make the last one with you. Yay, feelings! Oh. We can drink it together. Wolf is here as well. Hello, Wolf. What's up? Welcome in. How have you been? Hope you. 
Bruce sounds like a horse, like galloping up the stairs. So you said a half ounce? No, it's an ounce of everything. An ounce of everything. Yep. Wow, really? It's a one to one. One 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 one. Cool. Where's my uh my jigger? Oh, over here. Um, Felix was making fun of me last night because I was drinking a gin gimlet. <laughs> <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> What's up, Wolf Slayer? Is that bad? <clears throat> That's actually said, my first time making a Jim Gimlet. It's he very said, easy. Adam, you have so many more options to drink, is what <laughs> Feeling said. Quiet Conundrum <laughs> said, The last word is one of the best cocktails ever. It just sucks that green chartreuse is 70. Yes! It's, so, it's a little hefty. We actually got our bottle for 60, 60 something. 65? It's a little cheaper where we are, but. Like 10 bucks, I just really didn't, I didn't expect it to be that expensive. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what it is or what goes into it. Also, hi, welcome to the BLT bar. How's it going, quiet? Seattle, or... it's 75 everywhere. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I haven't, uh, I, this is my, again, I've seen it on cocktails and in, in like, uh, like the different cocktail bars that we've been to recently, but I hadn't had a chance to try it yet. So I was like, ooh, pretty. Um, pretty good. First time in. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, so my name is Trey. I am the T in the BLT bar. Here's a T. This, I'm Ling. I'm the L in the BLT bar. And we don't really know where he is, but our dog, that's Brew, and he's the B in the BLT bar. Hello. Everybody so say together hi. together we make the BLT. <laughs> well, okay. We got uh -huh. one ounce of gin. One ounce of gin, one ounce of maraschino. Or sorry, lime juice. That's what I had. Okay. One ounce of maraschino, maraschino one ounce of chartreuse. And one ounce of gin. Good boy. Maraschino. Yes, we do not stand for the BLT. However, we did have an episode where we did make BLTs, and that was wild. Isn't BLT like a sa It is a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> we did make sandwiches on this one stream, and everybody went ham. Literally. <laughs> Add bacon. Right. Add bacon. So, we get that. Some gin. We're so, good. are we going to go with... Uh, that gin, a drier gin. Oh, okay. After chasing the chartreuse, I do think that maybe the tangerine might be okay. It's but a nice dry gin. I don't know. I feel like it might be too dry. Okay, well then let's go for the uh, violet in the fog. Uh, Where's this cracked at? Uh, gin dye. Because feelings did say an. Um, oh, go ahead. Okay. London dry or citrus infused is best. There we go. And then last thing would be put that away from me. Okay. Green chartreuse, right? Yep. One ounce. Yep. Are there toothpicks over here? Can you move the toothpicks? They should be over here. Behind me, I'll grab it. Okay. Some green chartreuse. Uh everybody with hand for BLT. Oh, you're funny. Not funny. <laughs> there you go. Um, talking about BLT got me hungry for one, right? Is this on ice? Yes. Uh, it is. No, I don't think so. Okay. Here, hold on. I didn't think so. Add all ingredients into a cocktail shaker filled with cracked ice and shake until chilled. Straight into a cocktail or a martini glass. Garnish with an orange peel and the Luxardo Maraschino Cheers. All right, what kind of, what kind of peel? What kind of... Oh God, I'm really bad at this, y'all. That cracked ice. So, shake the rice and pour. Uh, shake until chilled. Strain mm -hmm. into a cocktail or martini glass. Garnish with an orange peel and a Luxardo Maraschino cherry. Ooh. Okay. Sorry, we don't have a uh, martini glasses. That's next on the list, actually. But how do you how do you make this so pretty? <laughs> how do you, what did you do? I I just I just peeled off. <laughs> Why'd you? I got you. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're funny. Uh, 
go back behind enemy lines, enemy lines and help me feel this orange feeling. It's already making fun of me for feeling this orange. <laughs> Good glassware gets expensive when you try to get all the different ones you need. Ah, uh, we have not started looking yet. We have plenty of oh, rocks. shit, I broke that one. Here, let me see this. We have plenty of rocks glasses. Well, that's because we were mostly whiskey, or yeah, specifically whiskey drinkers. Mm-hmm. Did I have to do it right? <laughs> oh, and then we don't have a Luxardo maraschino cherry, but we got maraschino, so we'll use these. The Luxardo maraschino cherries look really pretty though. All right. Should I just drop it in or yeah. what do we do? Just do that. Call it a day. All right. Or should I be on the outside? There's something else that may or may not be in your Malor. What feelings? Hmm. Hmm? Give me one more toothpick. Yay! Okay. I know it's not in the, the right mixing glass, guys, or the cocktail glass, but this is our last word. Last word. Orange. Got the orange on the outside of the glass so it's there if you want it and we're also going to put some of uh, these pictures on our uh, discord so if you're not part of the discord type in exclamation point discord and join that shit so you can see all of our pretty drinks yeah all right looks like lemonade this goes out to feelings to and fe his friend yes i don't want to mention names or anything Thank you, Kat, for typing in that link for the Discord. Oh, that's pleasant. It's like... Ooh. That's really good. Okay. I definitely can see how a, maybe a, a drier gin or more citrus-based gin would be pretty good with this. Yep. Lemonade with a cherry on top. Cheers to Wally. To Wally. I use wood, wood, is that Woodford Boozy Cherry? <clears throat> Ooh! So, Boozy Cherries. I've had a few Boozy Cherries and, well, we no, had I've We've lied. only had, I've had one. one. Wildflower shared them with us quite a couple years ago now. Yeah. This was the first time that we had them and we didn't realize how boozy they were, but they were old Smokies Moonshine Cherries. Yes. This is when we started throwing magnets at the, <laughs> the fridge. Which, which gin did you guys end up going with oh so we went with <clears throat> no not that one mm -mm. a gin that is actually one of my favorite ones right now so far i, I like it but i like floral mclean and the uh, violet fog here's what it looks like very pretty bottle it is a very uh citrusy sweet gin like i tastes like candied orange peel in there. It's, it's like a very mm -hmm. sweet and uh, orangey gin. Nah, Luxardo or Woodford are much more subtle and compliment the cocktail. I figured it would be. We just went with the traditional maraschino right now because I couldn't find. I didn't, I should have thought to to get some of the Woodford cherries because they look really good. They're like the really dark red cherries. Mm -hmm. um, I probably just would eat them how they are, but. <laughs> This is really, this is really tasty. I really like it. It's yeah. very refreshing. I would drink that like <clears throat> with a group of close friends that I haven't seen in a while. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the beginning like of us like reconvening and stuff. And I'm like, hey guys, let's have a drink. Mm -hmm. I'll shake this for them. Make it this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep, laugh. big and dark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a child. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was made. That so was tasty. Do you want this one? I want to make the next one, so I want. To... I want the next one. You want the next one? Yeah. Okay. All right. The cocktail actually comes from Seattle. Oh, I didn't know that. 
Do you know the origin of the name? We had someone ask earlier. I think it was positive, actually. And we actually don't know. I uh, don't know why it's called the last one. We have no Hot idea. Hail. Shush, you got me all teary-eyed. We got you, feelings. Okay. So. I'm gonna put my little... I... Do we have that simple syrup? The simp syrup that's still in there? Yeah, just the Demerara. Yeah. Yeah, we have it. Okay. <clears throat> I either want to make the Brandy Alexander... Or the aviation, but it's we already made a gin based drink, so I think I'm gonna do the brandy Alexander. Okay, we have all the stuff for it. Yeah, so we needed uh cognac, creme de, de creme de coco. Are we just gonna use Mozart for that? Yeah, okay. Um, heavy whipping cream garnished with fresh nutmeg, then flash fi uh, fire flash for flare. Okay, I, I don't know if I can fire flash, but... <laughs> I think that's when you just get the nutmeg and you toast it, right? No, just... like, I, it, I think it lights. It ignites. That's right? what I meant. Like, you, like, get it and, like, get it like a torch lighter and, like... Right? I don't know. I'm not going to try this until we figure it out first. Here's my shaker. Hey, Trey, who's your tailor? Because that shirt got me thinking... <laughs> <laughs> you you <be> <laughs> Cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, what you feed this? Uh, so, this is actually from Pissy too. Yes. It's funny because our neighbor, our really good friend who also cooks, who's been on the stream before actually, his name yes. is Cody. Yes, Cody. He uh, did the chopped cooking challenge with us on with the stream. With also the, and he had that. Yeah, he has this, Fishy has this, and we have a picture of each other. Yes. All three of us together. We'll post that in the. Type in, uh, actually, if you guys type in exclamation point socials, you'll find our Instagram. Yep. And it's actually the first, I think it's the first post on Instagram right now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to guess how uh to make this <laughs> so we need cog neck <laughs> she just said cognac we need some cognac we this need is some cognac this is the drink of my people hennessy hennessy yes. you will never go to a loud party that does not if the, this loud party does not have hennessy at it it's not a bumping party and it'll be fun <laughs> Some say it came from Detroit, but most claim it came from Zigzag Cafe in Seattle. I could be wrong. <laughs> okay, we can speculate. <clears throat> Alright. I have not had Hennessy since my graduation party. Um, I guess two years ago now. So, let's give this a taste on its own. Oh, this smells like a loud time. I want to try it out. I think I have some green chartreuse still on mine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hit me up. Excuse me, brew. Okay, so we got cognac. We got simple syrup. We got... Oh. I'm assuming you shake this. Right, feelings? Uh, you said you were whiskey drinkers. Ever had any Japanese whiskey? <laughs> yes. Japanese whiskey. We have. We actually just tried a new one the other day. I love some Japanese whiskey. It's probably my favorite kind of whiskey. Japanese? Yeah, I thought it was Scotch, but I mean, Scotch <laughs> and Japanese have a lot in common. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay. All I know is I need to go to a bar with Trey. Last I heard, they just give him full bottles and don't ask questions. <laughs> dude, they did. Can I get some Hennessy? It's like, okay. Yeah, dude, you got a whole thing of Hennessy. I walked to the table with him and I was like, hey guys. Um, <laughs> here is the Hennessy. Here's the Hennessy. All right, can you tell me what's in here? Yeah. So you're making the Brandy Alexander? Yes. One ounce of cognac. Is this an ounce? That is it. Okay, I have a question about this um, one right here. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure on these smaller jiggers, the tall one is an ounce and the bottom one is 0. 0.75 or is it a half because that one's an ounce and a half right this one is one ounce and two ounces oh so should i just, just use that one yeah i was like i should i just use this one yeah i have to figure this one out let's look at chess piece, piece. <laughs> what is this toke i can't read it toketsuru is incredibly good, but can't find it anymore from Nika. Oh, Nika does such a... The Nika coffee is one of our... Yes. Wait, do we have it? Yeah, we do. We just tried the Kamiki, um, and that one was interesting. This is our 
favorite Japanese whiskey. Yes, we we're making a drink right now, Prince. The Nika coffee. My it's shot. not a coffee whiskey. It's not coffee flavored. It's just the name of it. Very, very good whiskey. Yeah, we. I dabble in the Japanese whiskey. That's technically a half ounce. The one in the little, the baby one at the bottom. The bottom one. The. It's made using a coffee still. <clears throat> so not a not that it's coffee. Yeah, it's not. I think we it's had coffee flavored. The person that brought it to that whiskey festival was telling us about it. I remember. Yeah. Or someone was telling us about it. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, where'd you get it? It is not coffee flavored. Yeah, it's not coffee flavored. Oh, Nika Coffee Gin is your favorite of all time. Cool. That's pretty smooth. <laughs> That's pretty smooth. Oh, I feel my inner Wendy coming out. Huh? Man, that tastes like getting drunk. <laughs> that that Accurate. really gives me like flashbacks of like being like in a party going to the bathroom and like looking, looking in the mirror and be like you got this uh, <laughs> oof. makes the shoulders tight up like, tense up a little bit just a little bit okay so i gotta see how to okay into a shaker with ice and shake until well chilled so wait do i put this first and then put the ice in last right dark creme de la cacao Right there. <clears throat> Third shelf. Ah. We are using Mozart dark chocolate. I don't know why I'm yelling this, but... Yeah, I feel like Quiet Conundrum does have a really good, really good taste. Nika Jenna has yuzu, sancho pepper, uh, Japanese orange, and then... kind of sounds like... Uh, what's the Japanese gin that I had? Um, not Hatazaki. Oh my gosh, it's going to bother me. Roku? Roku. Roku was really good. I think it actually. I had, did like the Roku gin. I think I had uh, uh, Sancho <laughs> pepper in it as well, and yuzu. Yuzu is one of my favorites because I like, I like a tart, mm -hmm. sour. One ounce of cognac in. Uh, one ounce of creme de coco. In. Like Wu Tang, cacao. <laughs> that's how I always say that dumb joke every time. <laughs> <Some way. laughs> You're not lame. I would pay you extra in tips if you said that to me at the bar. <laughs> yes, uh, quiet. The I'm gonna call you conundrum. Actually. Conundrum. The uh, Roku is a nice twenty-six dollar bottle. Like, it's, was it? Oh, was it cheaper? Yeah, it's really cheap. I don't know that. I would probably say it's my favorite gin. Oh, well, actually, it's a, it's know. a good go-to gin. That's spruce. I was like, oh, spruce. But that spruce yeah. one we got from uh, Minnesota was amazing. Boreal Spruce Vicar Eat. Distillery. Do you have a um, a drink of choice or a spirit of choice? Everybody that's here, do you guys have a drink of choice and or spirit of choice? For our non-drinkers, you can talk about your favorite drink as well. Yeah. Um, okay, so this, we I need ice, so can you pass me some ice, please? Yes. Also, I don't need the simple syrup, I'm JK. I'll put it right here. Ice. Thank you. And uh, Dixie has used her drinks to redeem. Ruby. Give her some pets. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Into a shaker with ice. ice. Look at him, guys. He has like really a, long legs. <laughs> he's like a big spider baby. All right. <laughs> Hold on, spider monkey. Ew. <laughs> Uh, it's my go-to. When I'm feeling fancy, I use Nika Gin, but mostly use Roku. Beef Eater 24 is really nice, too. Has grapefruit Chinese tea infused. Not easy to find, though. So, Philly said, favorite base spirit for sipping or favorite to work with? Both. I was talking about sipping first. Sipping? Oh, you both. With you. Working with? I like working with, uh... Probably gin the best. <laughs> I would not get tipped very well. <laughs> Especially not now. I love mouse, but oh yeah. So if you don't do drink like alcohol, let us know what drink, like literally what drink you like best. 
straight into chilled cocktail glass. We don't have any chilled. Um, <laughs> hey, what's up, Jake? What's going on, Jake? Welcome on in. Perfect. Oh, it's like. Oh, thank you so much for the sub. Howdy. How's it going, Jake? How was your stream? If we have any, uh, mod or can you give Jake a shout out? I don't know if Wallflower's yes. here. Is it? It's exclamation point, point S O at Math on Test Jake. Okay. Do I any skips or any or spaces? Uh, exclamation point S O space at Math on Test Jake. Okay. Uh, we don't have fresh nutmeg, so I am using a. <laughs> I am using this. There we go. So, I don't have any, I, I don't know if I should light this up, because I, I feel like it's going to be dangerous. This so. looks... I'm just going to... Okay. This is a little cute. All right. It's looking cute. I'm trying to figure this one out. Is that how it's supposed to look? Mm, that's what it looks like. Here. Wait, where'd it go? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. It looks like chocolate milk. Maybe I mixed it too much. Here, let me uh, put it in the front of the camera. Did I, did I do this right? <laughs> so this This is don't look right. Ling's, uh, um, Brandy Alexander. Something tells me I didn't make this right. <laughs> well, look up, just Google Brandy Alexander and see if this, because in that picture it looks like it's supposed to be, like, a different color. Why is it called Brandy Alexander but has no brandy? Maybe the person's name was Brandy Alexander. Okay, oh, okay, yeah, right, 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 right. Yay! <laughs> we were going through old. Oh my god, yes. Alright, let's give it a try. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm gonna do. I'm, I gotta do a little. I gotta do a little. Little, little picture. Little picture, picture. You know what I'm saying? Like a little picture. what you were struggling with. Appearance can be deceiving, but the taste is all that matters. You gotta get the, the nutmeg. I'm gonna go up a little bit. You didn't get all the nutmeg? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you! All right. The Brandy Alexander that has no brandy in it. <laughs> uh, currently, I'm so obsessed with the... Tormor, oh god, hold on, wait, I can't read Currently, that. Currently, I'm so obsessed with the Tormor 28 year, and now 36. Ooh. Year. It is out, this, is out of this world smooth. It makes Pappy 25 seem harsh. Wow. wow, really? Speaking of smooth, I actually got the green spot yesterday, the Irish whiskey. One of the smooth, not, I mean, Irish whiskey's pretty smooth all around. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, this is so me. Oh, that's tasty, y'all. Ooh, that's good. Oh, with this dark chocolate Mozart is delicious, too. Ooh. Ooh. This is good. That's delicious. You got, you got a little, like, uh, uh, milk mustache going on. Um, so, Ooh, shit. Uh, oh, I'm reading this. Long stream, but good one. Try out DayZ for the first time in years. It's definitely better than it was on. Oh, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Wait, uh, who's trying with Daisy? Uh, Jake. I'm so, glad it went well. I played DayZ years ago when it first came out, and it was some of the most fun I've had. Really? Mm -hmm. Jake said it was better now than it was at release. Oh, I'm sure it is, yeah. I played when I was in high school, which was like, <laughs> what, almost 10 years ago? Mm hmm. Uh, something new. Is this what your streams are usually like? Making drinks and chatting? Every Sunday we do our Sunday sipping, which is basically this. Yep. Uh, we do make drinks. We usually have some type of theme going on. And then we do chat. We basically just talk about what uh, if we want to talk about. Basically whatever we like. Usually about drinks and food. And all that good jazz. We we're do play. We're a variety stream, so we do yes. this every Sunday. We Throughout the week we do play video games and stuff. Um, it's mostly me that plays yeah. video games. Uh, usually I will try to stream on Tuesdays. I'm a pretty casual game player. <laughs> uh, so Animal Crossing, uh, I played Stardew for a little bit. Sims, uh, that I don't know how to play, but I'm attempting to play. Uh, and then every now and then, occasionally, he Trey will do uh, spooky games. He does yeah. horror games. 
Um, but yeah, so for the most part, Sunday Sipping is usually where we like to come in, check in on you guys, check in with each other. Uh, kind of, it's a good. It, we have. Everyone a, always dreads Monday and like Sunday, because. Because it's right before Monday, yeah. so we, we, we would like to make it a little bit better for everybody. Make the Monday a little bit better for everybody. So, and talk about funny stories, mm. yes we do. I'm off to bed, super tired. Good night everybody. Good night Jake, thank you again so much for the raid, and I'm glad that your stream went well. Uh, I hope you have a good night, and I hope you have a good day tomorrow as well. Thank you Jake. See you later friend. Okay, cool, yeah. Uh, they want to learn how to make some old school basic cocktails. Join the Discord. We talk about food and drinks all the time. Yes, we do. What part of the country are you guys in? We are in the south. East. Yeah. Oh, wait. I was like, where? South. East. Yes. We're based in Tennessee. <laughs> yeah. I, okay. I was like, I was trying to, I was like, where do we <laughs> fit in the, the geographical I'm part? I'm from Arkansas, of but moved to Seattle three years ago. Oh, okay. Cool, oh, cool. nice. I've actually been to Arkansas once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Years ago, though, I uh, went to go visit a high school friend. <laughs> yes, South and East is correct. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you should try the Resident Evil game. Oh, he hasn't played that yet. With the woman in the. Oh, the, uh, uh, Resident Village? Evil Village. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know. Actually, Kat played it for a little bit. I watched her play it for a little while. King, why do you want me to play it? Because of the woman in the white dress? Yeah, the woman in the white dress. I mean, everybody wants to see the woman in the white dress, so. She's. She's a special lady. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, <clears throat> it was good! <laughs> yes! Spent a good time in Tennessee going to concert. Yes, that's what we're known for is Nashville. Mm -hmm. I was. Uh, in Fisty Stream earlier, I was shitting on Party Foul. Party Foul? Yeah, I'm shitting on it. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that it was bad, it just wasn't. It wasn't good. I wouldn't say, yeah, it's kind of like, eh. No one ever came to Arkansas. <laughs> oh. I don't know if Trey can handle another horror game. Oh, he hasn't finished Visage either, too. Yeah, I will be finishing that before I even think about moving on to another one. I will play horror games. I just know I'm, I'm terrified of them, but I will play them. And that was a good recommendation, whoever did recommend it. I think that was, uh... Oh, was it Feelings? Was no. It fe no, I think, was it King? Um, Frankel. I think it was Frankel. Okay. Or unless it was feelings. I don't remember. I had to go to Nashville, Memphis, Tulsa, OKC. That was mine. That was mine. Okay, I was okay. Like, yeah, you got it right. I was like, is it? Yep. I said feelings, right? Mm hmm Okay. That was me. I forgot. I have the, uh, brain cells of a... Uh, I done did a bad. <laughs> <laughs> did a bad by recommending Visage? It's a great job. I think it's great. Dude, this is wonderful. <laughs> this brandy is... So, if I were to go up to Beard, he's one of our favorite bartenders in town, and be like, hey, can I have a brandy Alexander? Do you think he'd make it for me? Of course. Well, usually, he usually makes whatever you... He'll Google it. If he doesn't know. Hey, yo! Thank you so thank much you for the sub, it. Dixie! Yo! Thank you so much. Oh, I knew you'd love it, Link. <laughs> Felix does me so well. <laughs> Yeah, that is... Anything with cream, dude, I'm like, yeah, milk! I don't know if Positive's still here or not. <laughs> what? Milk! Yeah. Ling 2021. Listen! <laughs> They're not even like... Me and the Positive? This too. Milk! Milk! <laughs> milk! <laughs> Me and Positive will <laughs> fuck up some milk dude we are the ones that will like pour it straight out of the jug into a glass and just like mm. drink that shit that makes my body mm. hurt thinking about it mm. all right next cocktail i'm gonna go ahead and rinse this stuff well i hope you're liking seattle um conundrum i actually had uh my cousins used to live in tacoma uh so we visited seattle Pretty, pretty frequently, actually, when I was younger. I moved to Tennessee when I was in the second grade. Uh, so, like, 2004. So, it's been a little while. It's expensive. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, is it true? Are there coffee shops on every corner? <laughs> yeah, I want some milk. <laughs> yes. Sounds like Colorado and Hawaii. Oh, expensive. 
Not sure it's for me long term. That's fair. Bro, like, stop. What are you. You're just like licking this. Did I spill something down there? Where did I spill? Okay. <laughs> I moved for my career. Hit a ceiling in Arkansas. Ah, gotcha. Gotta go uppercut that ceiling, bro. I feel that. Eat! Alright. Nice. Clean shakers. Oh yeah, let me clean the, the, the what is this? Let me clean the jiggers too. Okay. Hey, what up, Thomas the Pup? I haven't seen you in so long. Babe, Thomas is here. Who? Thomas the Pup. Oh my god, Thomas! Yes, yeah, it's been a while. Hey! What up, <coughs> yo? Welcome back to the BLT bar! I have to make the last word, though. Your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what gin you use, because apparently none of us are using the same gin. Can you put this in the fridge, please? Hit this, hit a ceiling in AR. Mm -hmm. Is that? Arkansas. Arkansas, gotcha. We're talking about moving. Okay. They said that uh, Seattle is expensive. <laughs> hey, what's up? I don't know much about uh, East Coast places. Not East Coast, but like, not, sorry, West. I was like, geez. Uh, West places. Mm -hmm. I've been all along the East Coast, but West I've never even touched. I was born in Boise, Idaho. So. I'm gonna change this music. I yeah. like we're in like a. We're in space. Like a team rom com. You can do the chill lo fi right there. This one's a new one. What up, my aesthetic boys? It's your boy, Fresh. Uh, please do. Taught them how to make it in memory of the. Yes! Feelings has. This was a. That, the last word was a wonderful. Uh, cocktail that especially to start off with so <laughs> oh uh i'm gonna dip Ooh. early Ooh. oh i can't read uh, I'm, gonna Kat, I'm gonna dip early baby has been sleepy i'll see y'all tomorrow have the rest of the stream all righty cat thank you so much for joining us here's a uh, finger, finger heart. hearts here's a mm. mwah, ah, blind blind kiss. Kiss. oh shit hydrate and then hydrate i need that <laughs> and also stretch mm -hmm. Thank you so much for using all of your drinks. I hope you have a wonderful night. Please travel safely, and we will see you tomorrow, friend. Love you, sis. Mm. Katzilla. Okay. And my husky that passed away recently made the ah. I'm gonna go ahead and raise my drink for that. Oh, for Wally that? and for Conundrum's husky. Oh, Cheers. I'm sorry about that. Absolutely, feelings. Absolutely. So yeah, friends, we really do appreciate you guys coming out. Oh, sh <gasps> I almost dropped this. We really do appreciate coming, you all coming out, hanging out with us, making drinks with us, even too. That's super awesome. Da booty, cheers, lads. Da booty is now in chat. What up, da booty? It's been a long time since hey. I've seen them too. As I always ask, is it lunchtime yet for you? <laughs> Hope you've been well, friend. How you been? Mm. I'm trying to find the size of this jigger I have. Shouldn't we just take water and measure it? You're right. All right. I, I did it at work. That's why I am. <laughs> been busy. Uh, just had it. I missed you guys. Oh, well, I'm glad you had lunch. We missed you too. All right, that is one ounce. Okay, so that means that's gotta be a fourth of an ounce at the bottom. This water just drinking. Bruh. <laughs> been this. busy, hopefully it's been a good busy. I think that's a fourth of an ounce. That's what I'm gonna guess. Fourth of an ounce? Cause a fourth of an ounce is a, oh no, it's a half ounce. Is that a half ounce? Yeah. Yeah, it looks to be a half ounce. I think Feeling said that too, but we just got confused on which side he was talking about. That's a half ounce. Okay. Ounce and a half ounce. Okay. Cool. I just drink water, TBH. 
Or I just drink vodka, TBH. That's very you, Thomas, by the way. <laughs> Accurate. So, Do you have a favorite vodka? Um. Should I make the white lady yeah. or the, uh, <laughs> the... What do you feel like drinking? Hmm. Mm. I bet. The, okay. I'm gonna try the aviation. Good, because I got that crimp. You okay? Um, I did not find specifically crème de violette. Violet. How do you say this? Is Frankel here? I don't know how to French. <laughs> Help me. How do you pronounce this? Uh, nope. As long as it works, I don't. I don't know what the brand. <laughs> okay, all right. We we uh. <laughs> Breathe. We a simple. Yeesh. <laughs> it's okay. We simple. It's all right. Yes. Listen, I have a hard time breathing sometimes. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, all right. So I could not find creme de violet, violet, violet. Listen, it's gonna turn into feelings. Is never. Is it literally violet? Wait, are you saying what? What are you trying to say? Spell it. V i o l e t t e. Right, is that how it's spelled? Are you, are you trying to spell violet or? That's what the. Yo. Wait. The color violet. No, 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 no! It's a specific. It's a specific. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Help me. Make buttery nipples. Love me some buttery nipples. Why are you saying it so hard? Make buttery nipples. <laughs> That's probably not. Love how me it. some buttery nipples. <laughs> That's not how the booty sounds like at all. Help me. <laughs> Bring me a buttery nipple. So okay. must be a man. Okay. So yeah, it's V I O L E T T E. How do you pronounce that? Well, while you're figuring that out, I'm gonna make this cocktail. If you don't want to use the French pronunciation, just say pilot. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just making this harder than it should be. Uh, do we have lemon? Can we have lemon? Yes. Anyway, the reason I brought this up was because, damn, you reached that? I, I pointed to it and you were like. I went over to I went over to get it. I didn't know you could reach it. I spilled something out of here and Bruce like been licking at it. Or he's just waiting for something to go in the trash. I don't know. Anyway. Creme de Violet. I'll say it English way, I guess. American way. I couldn't find specifically Creme de Violet. So, I bought Violet Liqueur instead. It is called The Bitter Truth. Isn't that a name of a drink? The Bitter Truth? Uh, I don't know. The proper pronunciation is... For a cocktail? Is Violet. <laughs> yeah! Suck it! I got it right! <laughs> why, why, why am I sucking it? What did I do? I didn't say you were wrong. I was on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I I read some kind of article on Google real quick since I looked it up that creme de violet and creme de violet is also synonymous with violet liqueur. So I just bought the bitter truth. So yeah, I'm gonna try this on its own. See how it is. Whoa! It's blue as hell! What'd you, <laughs> what'd you think it was gonna be? I I didn't know it was gonna Yo, this shit is blue! That shit is blue! <laughs> that shit is blue! You're funny. Oh. Yo, that shit is blue! It's not good on its own. It's not? Oh, shit. <laughs> Let me try that. Doesn't say anything. Oh, it smells great. I don't know, feelings. I think I might have to disagree. This is tasty. Maybe he's thinking about creme de violette, though. Oh. The taste, is it? The taste of that. It this was me. That's Vio. Good. <laughs> yes, Thomas. <laughs> It's actually close to the same name as one of the cocktails that I had, that you had trained. Okay, I thought so. Oh, that's right! Because he crafted some of those. That's right. I knew it sounded familiar. 
Is it blue? Did, did my cognac turn it blue? Well, I think it's purple, but they're, you know, when there's only a little bit in the glass. Oh, oh, I see, I see. It's probably wow. violet in color. That's fair. It overpowers a lot of things. Okay, I can see it over. It almost tastes like a like a jelly bean of some sort. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing, bro? Mm. Yes. This tastes better. Follow okay, me. I am almost done with this uh, aviation. So I added some simple syrup, creme de violette, or what is it? Simple syrup. Oh, violet liqueur. The violet liqueur. Um, I also added some, I'm, at, I'm about to add some lemon juice. Is there a garnish for this? I'll make one. It's all good. That's really tasty. How do you, how the fuck? There you go. You're struggling over there? Yeah, let's, I'm gonna wash these out. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. So then this has to be just one ounce, right? No, 0. 0.75 ounces of lemon juice. No, I think my cognac turned it blue, bro. You think your cognac turned it blue? Yeah, my cognac turned it blue. Let me just say that. There's a little bit of cognac in my, my glass and I pulled it pulled it up to the light and it was blue. Mm -hmm. Very blue. I'm blue, da dum dee, da dum da. Tony, that's for you if you're still here. Ba dum dee, da dum da, da dum dee. Are you intoxicated? Yeah. Why? Why are you asking? I'm just wondering. Okay, use the towel. You only had one drink. I didn't eat anything. You didn't eat anything? Why didn't you eat anything? Um, I ate a little bar and I thought that was enough. So, Jen. I'm gonna need. Some... Oh yeah, what gin would you like to use? I'm gonna use the Tangeray this time. Okay. Patty likes Tangeray. I expected as much, you saucy tart. Feelings, how was your uh, how was your cocktail? Yeah, Tony. Yeah. I'm happy that you heard that. She, Tony was actually the one that taught me the misheard lyric that she likes the best. Is, I'm blue if I were green, I would die. If I were green, I would die. If I were green, I would die. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> laugh, laugh at me. <laughs> you. <laughs> what? It's just funny how like, I'm over here chilling, making this drink, and you're like, blah, 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 in the corner. <laughs> oh, it was amazing. Good. There are classics. These are classics too, everybody. Next time I'll teach him how to make a modern classic. The paper plane. Oh yeah, paper plane. We have Aperol. No, we, we don't. don't. We do not. Shit. I was gonna pick it up. We and... have. We have Campari. We do have Campari. What bourbon do you use in your paper plane? Made a bullet. Oh God, please help me. Boulevard. Yes. I made one two days ago, actually. Yes. I didn't know a paper plane had bourbon in it. I thought it was a gin drink or something. So look forgot about my apple pie. Is it still there? Yeah, we got it for you, girl. Apple pie? Her apple pie shine. Oh, was that? Uh, your, your customer's. <laughs> oh yeah. You need to me to rinse this though. Yes, please. Okay, is it gonna come out blue? I have no idea. I'm fine with, I'm gonna put this in my different glass. You don't want this one? Well it needs to be rinsed out anyway. Ooh. Yeah, I like some coupe glasses. Wow! So we're gonna take a picture of it. Okay, so this is the aviation. Nice blue color. It looks kind of green on the camera, but it's to us it is very blue. It's 
nice like light blue um I think next time what I would change is probably we have like pre-crushed ice I think next time I'm just gonna make some big ice cubes and then crush the ice myself so I get less dilution oh do your own crushed ice yeah which I have a thing to make clear ice coming in the mail so that'll be here tomorrow actually you'll have wait what it's like a little cube tray that makes clear ice. I thought you said you had clear ice coming in the mail. I was like, what? No. Oh. Uh, paper plane is a riff on the last word. To be honest, I love using Basil Hayden as it's more mellow. Oof. I love the Basil Hayden. This smells like light. This is a wildflower drink. Wildflower, you would like this. I want to smell it. Basil Hayden. Do you guys have a favorite whiskey? We originally started this whole hobby off Oof. as whiskey fans. Um, we both work as um, bar, as uh, uh, we're not quite bartenders. We just serve tasting, so I say bar staff. We're part of the bar staff at a local distillery that we have in town. Um, but our love of whiskey came uh, about a year before we both were working at the distillery, which is cool. But we started off on whiskey. That was our starting point. Good. Good, right, Trey? Trey A.A.? It's pretty good, yeah. So I've had an aviation before at um, our favorite place to drink in town and to eat in town, but it wasn't blue. This one's better than that aviation, too. Oh, yeah. So the taste is similar, but the there's, aviation... There's is almost too tangy and sweet this is very light and frilly and like because the last one i had wasn't that color it was like this really pale yellow. yellow yeah so i wonder if they didn't have creme de violette this is delicious this tastes like a really really like adult blue popsicle <laughs> <laughs> yes brew ran in here he ran in here at mach 5 just now and as soon as he entered the doorway, he sat down. It was weird. Now oh, he ran away. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, conundrum feelings. Anyone else in here who's whiskey fan? Anybody else in here who's whiskey fans? <laughs> that's pretty good. Man, that's tasty. Let us know what your favorite whiskey is. Oh, classic cocktails are fun and super easy to make. See? Yeah. Man, we have a lot of shit in here. We do. Uh, I do we have what it takes to make the, a martini? I know that a martini is like a yeah, I think we do. I would like to try a martini, maybe I don't know if making it or like trying it, but I would try it like that. Yeah, let's figure it out. So, one thing I've been trying to get better at, guys, is I've been trying to remember uh recipes for old cocktails. So, like, you be like feelings, yeah, just I just want to know the uh, off the top of my head, but the same story this is how, exactly how you make it. A Manhattan. I'm gonna clean my hands real quick because they're kind of sticky. Oh wait, you can actually make a Sazerac now, you silly geese. We are silly. <laughs> this is really good. That's super tasty. Okay, wait, hold on. There was something else I wanted to make on this list, though. So you said a martini, right? Wait, hold on. I want to make either a sidecar or the white lady. I think I'm gonna make the sidecar. Okay, I'm gonna make the sidecar, guys. Okay. Because cognac is the drink of my people. Do you want a vodka martini or do you want a or do you want a dirty martini or a uh, regular martini? What's the difference? Dirty Martini has uh, olive brine. Do we have olives? Yeah, we have that huge pack of olives downstairs. Remember the really big ones I got for the... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, we do. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I like a dirty martini. Okay. Dirty. Okay, anyway, I'm going to make a sidecar. So, for this sidecar, I'm going to... Let's get it out. Ling is intoxicated, guys. Yes, I am. The question is, do you know the difference uh, between what and what? The dirty martini and the regular martini. 
Yeah, there, it's the Oh, Brian. Is that it? Is that I, the only difference? I believe so. All right, the white lady has two ounces of gin, and now this gin I'm going to use is Twin Spears Distillery. This dude brought so much alcohol. Thank you. What? I guess he brought us so much alcohol, man. I think we have at least... <gasps> I'm going to say at this point, at least 60 bottles in this place. Technically, she got it. So that's the only difference? Is just the olive brine? What? Yeah, well, I thought it was just olive brine. Is there... So... so <laughs> never shake a goddamn martini. Shake it, not stir it. Wait, did someone ask for a shaken martini? No, I, I was, that was the James Bond reference. Oh, okay, okay. What does he have shaken, not stirred? I don't know, actually. So this is two ounces, right? Yes. Okay. Two to one. All right, I'm making the white lady. I'm making the Lady D. Wait, you're making the white lady? Is that the one that you just made? You said you were going to make the sidecar. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, sorry. I'm making the sidecar. I don't need gin. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god. <laughs> Making a yuzu gin paradise now. Gin, yuzu liquor, uh, yuzu extract, aperol, and orange juice. That sounds Ooh. really like tangy. Do you like, get the yuzu? Do you get the yuzu extract from somewhere? Did you make it yourself? We have a friend, uh, Larix. We actually got to go see him a couple, a few months ago now. But he also runs a virtual bar every f Saturday night. Mm -hmm. If you want to give him a shout out, uh, if you guys haven't already gone to go follow Larix, he's a wonderful human being. Um, he gives the coziest vibes. He's so educational. He's so cool. Uh, man's literally a giant as well. We went to meet him, and he, I mean, I'm I'm like five Is nothing. His name anyway. Larix Lounge. Uh, at Larics underscore Laricina. I hope you got it. Uh, L A R I C I N A. L A R I C I N A. I N A. Okay. Did I do that right? Did you? Exclamation point, Sal. Exclamation point, Larix underscore Laricina. Yeah, that should be his, that should be his uh, thing. Hmm. Anyway, you guys go check out Larix. Um, he's I a wonderful from, human being. I get it in bulk from the Aiton Kitchen whole, Supply Wholesaler here in town. Ooh. Making myself is way too much work and expensive because yuzu fruit yields so very little juice per fruit. Gotcha. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much, Wildflower. Thank you, <laughs> Wildflower. Our moths are great. Okay, here we go. Two ounces of... Oh, okay. Uh, if you can coat... Can you can you do a sugar rim for me real quick, please? Sugar rim? Yeah. Do we have sugar up here? You're about There's to spill a... that. Oh, sorry. There's the uh, the sugar cube. Sorry, I was looking back there and I was tipping. Do you want like sugar in the raw? Let's sugar? do sugar in the raw, yeah. Okay. Um. All right, Larix. I said Larix. All right, feelings. We have a plate. Um, I don't have. A... I have a cutting board, but. We got a plate. Okay. Your exclamation point was upside down. What the hell? They're extremely fleshy with tons of large seeds. I've never seen um, a real yuzu fruit. I've only had like yuzu juice and like, egg, you know. Uh, we're gonna like. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Why did it not work? Thank you, Wildflower. We appreciate you. Um, I love citrus anything, so there's that. What am I doing? Oh yeah, lemon juice. Juice. So we're doing 0.75 ounces of lemon juice. Okay. 
Yeah! <laughs> yeah, guys, I uh, did not eat much today. So, this is. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Okay. <laughs> They're so amazingly fragrant, but hard to come by here since the export window is so narrow. Oh, gotcha. We're talking about Yuzu still. Okay, so we got lemon juice. Uh, Here's your sugar room. Thank you. Okay, and because feelings will never let this go for as long as I live, I'm going to be adding in Grand Mariner. Grand Mariner? I, listen, I don't know. I, I just read it wrong, I guess, and it's... <laughs> oh, you said it that way on purpose. I was like... Grand oh. Marnier. Yeah. But I read it wrong the first time I saw it. I was like, yeah, all right, we're, grand, we're adding in the Grand Mariner. And I said it multiple times. I think Fisty was one that was like, uh, are you are you saying, am, am I saying this wrong? And I was like, what do you mean? And <laughs> Felix was the one that was like, it's <laughs> it's not Mariner. <laughs> Grand Mariner. That shows where we're from, I guess. Um, we're doing point seven five ounces. So, what is the difference between? Um, there's triple sec, coin coin tro, mm -hmm. and Grand Marnier. Are they just all orange liqueurs? I know they're orange liqueurs, but I think they're all made a little differently. I know there's different ABV as well, I think. Oh, okay. My brother started growing a yuzu uh, sudachi hybrid, hybrid tree. tree. Ooh, that's cool. Once we get a house, I would love to have our own garden and stuff. Oh, and yes. Just I would love to have a garden. Grow, because I want to make bitters. I want to, you know... I have a dehydrator coming in to make my own garnishes and uh, so excited for infuser that. ingredients and stuff. All right, I do need an orange uh, uh, garnish. Orange garnish. Okay, I do need ice. Excuse me. I need some ass. A sidecar. Isn't a sidecar also like excess of a drink? Yeah, I think that's when they give you the extra, like the remainder that didn't fit in that. I think at that one point. Oh, look at that beautiful lemon garnish. Wow, so pretty. Look at that, folks. They are all orange liqueurs. Grand Marnier is drier without the cloying sweetness of a traditional triple sec. Okay, because triple sec is used in uh, 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 margaritas, right? They look cool by doing this. So cool. You're cool. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh. So this one comes with a sugar rim then. The recipe I saw online said if you would desire. But feelings did not put it in. She's super cool, chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow! So pretty. Can you take a picture of it, please? Yes, I can. Yeah! So this is her, this is your what again? The sidecar. Cognac, lemon juice. Again, prettier pictures will be posted on the Discord. I'm just... <laughs> Not quite there yet. <laughs> okay. 
for the way that right. it ran one day. There you go. Thank you. Okay. You made it. You get first sip. All right. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, this is a different type of tart. Wow, okay. I this feels like oh. like an autumn day, autumn afternoon on a wooden park bench. But it's a hot day. It's a hot autumn day. This isn't cold to me. Really? I think it is. You think it's cold? Not not just like Uber, but like enough to wear a scarf. Mm. This is like a sunny autumn day. Yes, in Goblin. For anyone who's no one's no watched one's Goblin. Goblin. <laughs> anyway, I'm watching it. I've watched a K drama. It's probably my favorite now. But they go to Canada and they sit on a little park bench. It's super cute with the leaves falling and shit. This is what it tastes like. Pooey! Sorry, I had a friend call me, but I'm back now. What have we made and what's the best? Welcome back, Fisty. I'm surprised I can read that because I can't read shit right now. Conundrum um, said I've been getting into Japanese so. Sochu, Sochu, lately, to their version of Korean Soju. Mm. Oh, okay. I have seen Sochu. Um, I've not seen Sochu before. Just on 210 Jack's menu. Okay. And I thought it was just an alternate spelling of Soju, but. <laughs> Love how the specification. <laughs> Ain't nobody know what Goblin is except for me, but I know. I know. Anyway, Fisty, we made it a lot and I'm kind of drunk, but... Yes. Yeah. We've made, um, so I made a... Oh gosh, what was my first one? Oh, we made the last word. Yes, the last word. In honor of Wally. Um, we have made an, Husky. an Cheers. aviation, which is a like light blue colored, very bright uh, herbal drink. Double fist in this, bro. We've made a uh, brandy um, Alexander, which, which doesn't is really have good. brandy in it. It's really, really delicious. Okay, let's do let's do a pop quiz. What did you put in the aviation? Oh gosh, I put in some uh, violet liqueur, uh, 0.25 or 0.75 ounces of gin, uh, <clears throat> 0.25 ounces of crim. The violet, 0.25 ounces of simple syrup, and uh, there's lemon juice, right? Yes. There's 0.5 ounces of lemon juice? Close, 0.75. 0.75. Yeah, oh, okay, there you go. Damn, Trey is drunk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 la, 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 la. What name are you at, Ling? I'm getting Ling Lang vibes so far. Probably. I'm not full Lang yet, nah, nah. Uh, probably Ling Lang. I'm pretty close. I'm like, I don't have any alternate, oh, blah, 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 alternative names. For you have time. Devil Juice Tray, but you haven't gotten there in a minute. No, nah, Devil Juice Tray is when like, I refuse to drink water. I will only intake alcohol. Mm. Still need to make the French 75 and the White Lady. That's one for each of us. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna do the I think the white lady. I think you should do the white lady because you shake better than I do. If there's an egg white involved. Is it, I'm guessing that egg white is a dry shake, I would think. I don't know why you would put ice, ice in, in there. Ice in yeah. <laughs> Have you heard of it? I think they call it like a whip, where you get like a small, or it's, I forgot what it's called. But you get a small ice cube, you put it in the drink, and you shake it, and that ice cube is just there. It's there to melt and cool down the drink. Oh. It's just no. one tiny ice cube. But you were the one that said devil juice. Oh, I said devil juice because I was referencing him. That was not a me thing. I will drink the hell out of water. He will not. Nailed it, Trey A. All right, you got it. You got the A+. I got pretty close. Yeah. I was off by like 0.25 for the lemon juice. The Brandy Alexander does not have brandy, and that's like the thing that I remember about it. <laughs> Cognac. Cream. Creme de coco. You know the ratios. Nutmeg. One ounce of. One ounce. Of, 
Does it have Alexander in it? <laughs> one ounce of cognac. Okay. One ounce of cream. Yep. I'm just, one ounce of creme de coco. Mm-hmm. Nutmeg on top. That's it. Fuck yeah! It's one to one. Fuck yeah! All right, I'm gonna make this next one. <laughs> It has me in it, yes? Oh! <laughs> Does that say Natasha? Namaste? Nasty. Does it say nasty? Mm-hmm. Nasty! Sorry, I can't read. Wildflower, if you were serious about um, get me getting an eye exam for my birthday, I am so down, because obviously I can't fucking read anything <laughs> with these prescriptions. I had my glasses off at work today, and I was like, oh shit. I can't see anything past your face, coworker. <laughs> Do you two have any good Irish whiskeys? Oh yeah. Good. That, uh, I was talking about this today at work, actually. He recently, I think it was just yesterday. Yep. Day before yesterday. We so, just acquired this. Speaking of Irish whiskeys, I love this whiskey called the Green Spot. Great Irish whiskey. Uh, very, and I know so, uh, smooth is like a very overused subjective term, but I know how to use that term when it comes to this. It is a very smooth, very light uh, whiskey, very buttery, almost like a butter cookie. I think it's bolder than yeah, it's, normal Irish whiskeys. Ever. Yeah, it, it holds up way more than regular Irish whiskey. Um, it has that, um, it's almost like a wildflower kind of taste. Mm. Wildflower is you. Very uh, natural tasting. Like, there's no artificialness in, at all. It's not very fruity. I got more like. Nah. That, like, grassy, butter cookie. Butter look. cookie, mm -hmm. yeah. Great Irish whiskey. And one more. Why can't I see? Dude, I literally couldn't see. Like, I still can't fucking see. I was gonna start easy classic cocktails. We can go with a uh, Poussin Flip next time. What's that? This right. Oh, feelings. Do you know how to do bar flare? Anyway, this is the Irish whiskey we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I went to three different countries. Yeah, you did. This is the uh, Red Breast 12. Really, really good. Um, probably more robust than the uh, actual uh, green spot. This one is like, oh man, it's like biscuits, baked bread, very the spicy. Red Breast is tasty, actually. It's spicy. And when, uh, when I say that, I mean like, like cinnamon clove very warm and spicy for an irish whiskey yeah yep i'm not fake wait don't ask silly questions what question did i ask i already, I already forgot i can tell you're drunk because you're like down there now powers is best <laughs> irish whiskey for 30 dollars or less out here buddy just turned me on to it got you boo it said that with or with our health care is sad Wait, you have to ask for an eye exam for a gift. Yeah, it is really sad. What's happening? Okay, with that being said, you are cut off. No, 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 I can drink it. I'm literally just trying to read. I can't read anything. I'm, I promise, I'm literally just trying to read. I don't, <laughs> I don't trust that I at all. I promise, I'm literally just trying to read. Cut off. Damn, the bartender told me to fucking leave. How rude! I look like a shrunken head. <laughs> the closer to the floor she is, the, no, the, the right. level. Yeah. Nope, see? <laughs> Cut me a floor cam! No, 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 you know you want. <laughs> her, her own bar, yeesh. Yeah, dude. Just want to see what you'll teach us. She's learning doing the Asian squad. Dude, you were! You were doing the Was little I squat. really? Yeah. Damn. Do you know how to do flare bartending? Duh. Feelings, that's cool. How did you practice? I would assume water. So don't Was there plenty of times that you would have to like, do you break, I guess you, in the process of learning, you probably break things. Yeah. She's drunk. Shut up, Fisty. Just kidding, I'm taking it back. I was really aggressive. <laughs> All right, well, I'm okay. gonna make another drink. Anyway, Thomas the Pup, thank you so much for redeeming your drinks. Learning a Lao word or phrase. Okay, let me know what you want to learn. The word. 
Oh, Fisty, I meant to tell you too. Trey was fucking dying yesterday when you were impersonating, um... What's his face? Doo Doo McGee. Ben Shapiro. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, fuck Ben Shapiro. Quiet Conundrum mentioned a drink earlier. I'm trying to find it. Uh, it started with an H. Dubliner. Oh, sorry. Uh, Irish whiskey, deep. sweet uh, vermouth, Cointreau, and orange bitters. Okay, we have the Grand Mariner instead, so we can use that. <laughs> well, isn't Cointreau an orange liquor? Mm -hmm. We have orange liquor. It's liqueur, but yes. Mariner! Mariner! Alright. <laughs> Literally any word. You want any word, Thomas? Guys, should I make a dub liner or should I make a dirty martini? Oh yeah, alright. Let's vote. Well, Grand Mariner is cognac. Triple sec blend. Cointreau is just triple sec. Damn, we don't have triple sec though. We have... We have this. Can you show them? I think you asked me. And you got it. Well, you're closer to so, that camera. This is naranja. Naranja, which means orange. Orange liqueur. Make I'm a, sure it'll make a fine substitute for a Cointreau. Make a dub liner because it's a good cheese. Do your martini. Oh, God. Do your martini. I know you love them. Oh. I love martinis. You do like martinis. Wait, how did, how did Conundrum know you liked martinis? I don't know. Did you say that earlier? Did I say that? How do you know I like... Mm. Is there... Is there a... <laughs> <laughs> is there a rift in the... In the, in the Matrix? Matrix? I mean, you Speaking can... Speaking of, The Matrix 4 is coming out, like, next month. And no one's talking about it. Which one? The fourth Matrix movie? I know, everyone was like, Get a Reeves! But that was, like, basically it. You guys mentioned already about how you love martinis. Yeah. I used my ear. <laughs> <laughs> Conundrum that I said I was listening. Here. Dumb dumb. Go ahead and put this away. Okay. I'm going to make a uh, martini. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah. Got to go in for the dub, bro. Can you hand me some... Oh, do I want a vodka martini or a gin martini? We haven't done anything with vodka yet. Give me a vodka. Then. Courtesy of Lil Fisticuffer. I'm turning my back to the camera. I'm not supposed to do that. I do need olives, though. And some driver moves. Okay. Um, you're supposed to tell them something. I'm telling them something? Oh, all right. We're learning a loud word or phrase. So teach him teach him a loud word that you know. I like the way fist or not fist, I like the way feelings thinks. What? Cause I like my martinis the way I like my men, dirty and wet. Mm, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did I say that out loud? Haha. -ha. No, say it. Uh, wait, what bottle is that? Oh, gosh. Which bottle are you talking about? This one? This is the vodka that you actually brought us. You keep showing this camera, but it's not the right camera. This camera. Uh, the... Twin Spirits Vodka. We tried the we tried the uh, gin a minute ago. Not a minute ago, but a little while ago. And it was kind of... It was like... It tasted kind of bitter and fruity at the same time so like 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 orange skins it was kind of weird but it was good okay that vodka let me know if it's good i'll get it yeah i'm gonna go ahead and probably make a vodka martini because we've used gin quite a bit tonight we're gonna show some vodka some more wait i need to get her to bring the olive juice up hey babe can you bring the olives up oh okay She's bringing the olive. Bro, all the booze. Uh, I got you stuck. I got you stuck. Stuck? Who got stuck? I don't know. It says I got you stuck. I don't know what that means. Do you use black olive um, juice in these two? I, I don't think so. Can, can I have a toothpick? Can you have what? So I need a half ounce of olive brine. Mmm. Ooh. Good. Ooh. 
I can't tell if that's good or not. Oh yeah. Half ounce of olive brine, half ounce of dry vermouth. And two and a half ounces of gin or vodka. We're using vodka for this uh, martini. It means that all the bottles I got you were not good. Okay, they suck. That was a straightforward sentence. Damn, you didn't even read, read his sentence right. Did I not? Dude, no. I'm, I'm t I had like four drinks already. I'm like fucked up right now. I dislike all those. I love all. Can you give me all, actually? Yeah. <laughs> He said, that was a straightforward sentence. Okay. So, one, two, three. Mm. Okay. Can you put this vodka away? Are you guys green olives or black olive fan more? I, it, well, it depends on what I'm getting, actually. I used to just strictly be like, I only like black olives. I think green olives are too bleh. But now I've had more green olives. I'm like, man, my palate was not, not grown. I mean, yeah, it's it takes a while to get used to, you know, new, fl shit, new flavors and stuff. Oh no, feelings. Conundrum loves olives. It's wildflower that doesn't like olives. Apparently, feelings uses cocktail onions instead of <laughs> olives. I don't think that'd be bad. Yeah, I love olives. <laughs> Black olives were better when I was 10 because I could put them on my fingers. Now I'm green olives all the <laughs> Yeah, you put olives on your fingers. <laughs> Wow, I missed the entire thing. Mmm, table ice. Mmm. Hand flavored ice. Hand flavored ice. Courtesy of uh, Bar Chemistry. He's fantastic if you don't follow him on Instagram and uh, TikTok. I wouldn't be surprised if he had a Twitter as well. Go for it, lol. Oh, I shook this. I'm shaking a martini. No. No. I'm supposed to stir this. Shit. Feelings about to come for your ass. Don't hurt me, Dad. <laughs> Lines were cross. Sorry. Oh, okay, Captain. <laughs> Feelings. Punish him. As soon as I started doing it, I was like, "This feels wrong." We'll see though. I mean. Oh, did you teach him the loud one? I didn't. I told you to teach him the one that you learned. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, Thomas, if you're still here. Oh, I shook that. I feel so dirty right now. Dirtier than Not as bad as Trey shaking a fucking martini. Ah! <laughs> I feel so bad right now. Ew, I felt this gross. This is wrong. I did it and I was like, this doesn't. I was like, why does this not feel good? The letter, the only thing that feeling said was do not shake a martini. And I knew that, but when I was shaking it, I was like, this doesn't feel right at all. I feel, what is happening? F, yeah, you get some Fs in the chat, y'all. Uh, really that bad? It's like, every time my I angel mean, dies, it's good. every time you, ha ha ha, martini. Okay, Thomas. So for you, I am going to teach you the word for cup. The Lao word for cup is jog. Jog. J O H K. Jog. <laughs> she was loading. I was deciding. Dry martini. Yeah. I gotta finish my formula too. Oh shit. She needs an update. Yeah, you guys gotta you gotta make sure I'm plugged in so that I can update throughout the night. 
This is the business power lunch uh, cocktail. Mm-hmm. We're talking about how we're gonna gentrify a city Damn. With, with this cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> Cup. 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 Jock. This is that we said cuck. Cuck? Yeah, see, look, you see his comment, he said, for what? <laughs> Cup. C U P. Cup. Thank you, Wow. Power. <laughs> Remember that whole spell I cup? Like, oh my, I C U P. I'm 12 and funny. good. Mm. I like this one better. Ooh. I didn't hear cuck. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> what did you hear then? I I think there should be more olive brine in this, to be honest. What did you hear then, Fizzy? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> All flowers just out there. Come? <laughs> Question mark? Thomas hmm? <laughs> <laughs> <Thomason>. said. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> it just muddles the flavors and makes it so that they don't blend properly. Also, you're okay, BB. You okay, BB? You see him upset. I'm okay. <laughs> I will say this is not as good of a, like it, the chain. The chain of flavor is pretty drastic with shaking it. Is it? Yeah, because when you're shaking, the he said ice. When you're shaking. When you're shaking, the ice is hitting the size of the uh, the shaker. So it's going to be breaking up, melting a lot faster. As opposed to you're doing a slow stir. So it waters the drink down more. Which is why I think that I asked for more. Or that I think oh, it needs, it needs more, more brine. olive. Okay. Yeah. That's not the drink when you're talking about gentrifying a city. That's the drink you have when celebrating a city. <gasps> uh, <laughs> city you gentrified? Yes. Should I... We did it, Drinky, drinky. High my standard. <laughs> Stir. Yes. Fisty, I'm sorry. I did not mean to put words in your mouth. I feel really bad now because it's the drunk me. Now I, my brain is being like, all right, now, Ling, because you're drunk, you are mean. You said, all right, Ling, now you were drunk. Now you are mean? Mean. Mean. I'm sorry, Fisty. I apologize. She's Hair very, flip Ling is here. She's very, she's very intoxicated right now. Um, you know, I've had quite a bit to drink, but I don't feel too drunk. You don't look too drunk. Yeah. But you have been reading things wrong. Yeah. When I get, when I start drinking, it's hard to read. Eat them olives. Miss Standard, Ol welcome on in. Ha olives are good. I will give it that. Welcome in, Miss Standard. I hope you've been doing well. How have you been? How's your week been? The olives are the best part of a dry mar or a dirty martini. More olives, better. Mm -hmm. Are there black olives? I don't think so. Look at this drunk man on my phone wearing my apron. Wait, is this one yours? Oh no, that one's. This one isn't yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's drunk as fuck. She has to think about words. I. Damn, Miss Tanner came in out of nowhere and now she's starting to roast. Flame Bruh! Lay on. on. Bro, is Fisty is Fisty toasty too? Bro, I'm sorry. Drink ASMR. Oh shit. Ooh. Okay. Well that Ling means we don't drink. <laughs> I am buffering. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna make the next drink, guys. And we're gonna do a drink ASMR for this one yes. because Thomas has redeemed his drinks for. So what's the last drink of that list? Wait, why are you apologizing? I absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> She's like doubled over right now. I will be making the French 75. Ooh. Oh wait, I can't, I don't have champagne. Oh shit, I, it's the only thing I forgot. She's unstable unicorns toasted. Excuse me, Miss Standard. Ooh, okay, so we made everything on this list then. We're good, we're done. Conundrum's like, y'all need to, <laughs> you guys need snacks to prolong this. Oh, lucky for you. 
No. No. You eat all of those because you're drunk. Can I not have a few? You can have a few. I bought these specifically for me today. Dang, I feel bad for having them now. She'll get drunk and eat my entire bag and be like, mm. <laughs> Fine, Fisty gave us dots. I'll just eat these dots then. By the way, Fisty, uh, those cheese curls that we had, the ones we had the first time were stale. Because this batch we got now, pretty damn good. Mm. Are they good? Mm-hmm. And then Miss Standard's head hydrate. Good idea, Miss Standard. She was always our DD. Okay, so. Responsible one. For this drink ASMR, I need to know what to make. So there's the cocktail that you guys are thinking uh, you guys want to see. Wait, maybe I got stale batch too. I've only had them once. <laughs> I think we did get stale ones because it tastes like a stale Cheeto. They're like rubbery, but this one was not. It's like puffy, yeah. crunchy. The first ones we had were stale. They were like, you bit into it and it like sank into the, it was mm -hmm. weird. I was like, ooh, this is tasty. Yo, all right, conundrum. I learned the chopsticks trick from my Korean family member. So smart. No oily or stained fingers. Thank you. I actually learned this from my big cousin too. She just turned, oh, she had her dirty 30 um, birthday last week. Dirty 30. Yep. Um, my cousin's now 30, but she's my big cousin. Oh, Janice? Yeah. Um, but she was the one that taught me that, hey, if you want some hot Cheetos, but you don't want the Cheeto fingers, because sometimes you don't want the Cheeto fingers. I want those Cheeto fingers. They tasted stale Cheetos. Literally how I describe Yes, because I remember you're on stream and I was, I was like, yo, but these cheese curls though. And he, he said, yes. Cheetos. Stale. And I was like. <laughs> to not getting dusty fingers. Fingers are faster for quick consumption, though. Okay. I'm gonna make a. Um... Oh, so did we make everything on? Um... We did everything we can. The only thing we didn't make was the uh, 75. No, we didn't make the white lady. I thought. You... Oh, you did make it. Okay. I made the uh, sidecar instead. So, so what's that one? We do need an egg. I'm gonna get an egg for you. Thank you. Do we need any more olives or are you finished? Just go ahead and leave them up here. We need to snack on them. Okay. This dry martini is, or dry martini, this dirty martini is kind of doing something to me. It's really good. What am I getting? Um, an egg. Okay. And more ice. Oh, shit. Yeah, the other tasted like stale Cheetos, literally how I described them. Yeah, the first batch we had was super fucking stale. Like, when you bit down on it, you couldn't even hear a crunch. It was like a... It sounded like you were biting into styrofoam. It was, it was really bad. Using chopsticks is vastly superior. I don't... I think that eating hot Cheetos or Cheetos with your fingers is the correct way to do it. Because that's the best part. It's like, when you're done, you can just like... Mm -hmm, and get all the powder off your fingers and stuff. But people want to avoid that. What... No. We need more white ladies in this one. <laughs> I was going to teach them how to make a pink lady, but Lane asked for a really old cocktail. So when it comes to a pink lady, what's the difference, uh, feelings? I've heard of a pink lady cocktail, but I've never... Wait, is that the one with... Does that have grenadine in it? Hot Cheetos, I agree. Regular Cheetos, you can skip the fingers. Yeah, yeah. It's specifically hot Cheetos. But general for greasy chips, it's great. Bingo. Okay, I thought so. I knew it had grenadine in it. Like there, there are some cocktails that I know the recipe to. That if you if you ask me to make it, I could be like, okay. I think I know what it goes in that, and I'll get pretty close, but I just don't know the exact measurements for most things. When it comes to me making a cocktail, it's mostly like going out to fly, like, I know what this tastes like, I don't know what this tastes like. I'm gonna just combine the two and it's gonna be good, generally. The, the cocktail I'm working on right now, though, is a uh, chocolate banana, um, I wanna say old fashioned, but I don't think it's close to old fashioned anymore. 
It's a chocolate I banana cocktail. Thank you. I yeeted the first egg onto the ground and brewed slurped it up. Okay. Bingo! What is he bingo into? I guess that grenadine was that pink lady. Oh. You can make the zombling. You mentioned that today, actually. We don't have the banana liqueur. Wait. Can we use your banana syrup instead? Yeah, we can use banana syrup, but I just don't know if... We don't have banana liqueur, so maybe we can like make banana syrup with like a rum. Like a dark rum or something. Yes, you can. I would love to make a zombling, actually. Alright, guys. We have the Midwestern famous dots. Also, dots is a shit. What's your favorite dots? Favorite what? Flavor of dots. Oh gosh. Southwestern. See, I don't like the southwestern ones. I only like I like the original and these ones. Let me try it out. Nothing beats the buttery originals. No. You basic though, Ling. Yeah, sometimes I am. It's alright. It doesn't feel the same. No? I need to dust my fingers. Oh, you need the <laughs> you need dusty fingers. I love dots. <laughs> oh God, what did you clip? Okay, so what was I making again? I was making the uh, pink lady. No, the white lady. White lady. If you need to strain into a glass, here it is. You can put the egg in there. Give it a brew. How much egg white? Oh, uh, one egg white. A whole one. Here. Yeah, put the, put the egg yolk in there. Is it a dry shake for the egg yolk? I'm guessing. Uh, that's, a, that's a question for the others. Alright, put the egg yolk in here. Dots are the only chip thing worth $5. Is that $5? Oh, that's because it's such a... You don't eat a... A whole bunch of dots in one sitting. At least I don't. It's kind of intense. With chips, you can just like bam, bam, bam. These unless you're Liddy. Because then you ate a whole. Yeah, unless I'm Liddy. Mm -hmm. Dry shake the egg white. You know better. I thought so. You, get, you better get struck too with your teacher over here. <laughs> Bro, you had a whole bag two weeks ago. <laughs> Yeah, we're calling you out, bro. Do you guys have a favorite drunk food? I've asked Bitsy this before. I'm not sure if I've asked Feelings or Conundrum if you're still here. Anyone who's still here. Do you guys have a favorite drunk food? Or like late night food if you don't drink? My favorite uh, late night and or drunk food is... Uh... Chinese food. Chinese? Chinese food or fried chicken. Oh, fried chicken. Specifically JFC, so Japanese fried chicken. Sheesh. Chicken ranch. <laughs> Gretzel said that one. What? Chicken ranch. Chicken ranch. Ah! <laughs> Yo. Junk food. Shawarma or pizza? Mmm. Oh, yo, drunk shawarma must be so fucking good. Them chicken rings were worth it, though, Wildflower. White cockle just hits different. Right? Absolute best late night drunk food is a large amount of prosciutto. Otherwise, man, okay, we a little bougie over here, okay. American, European, or Japanese drunk food? Yes. <laughs> white cheddar Cheez-Its. Okay, specifically white cheddar. 
Because white cheddar does hit a little different, too. Lemon juice. I'm mm, supposed to be helping him make this break, but I'm eating Cheetos instead. No, the prosciutto is bougie. Who did ass says, oh, yes, my favorite drunk food is prosciutto. You're breathing really hard. Huh? You're breathing really hard, man. I spent a lot of energy shaking that drink. What's my drink food, bro? What do I eat drunk, babe? What do you eat drunk? Mm -hmm. Um. Butter. <laughs> Butter would be one of those, yes. <laughs> I bought it. Aldi. It's still not bougie. Okay, that's fair. Aldi's bougie on a budget. My very Can you hand me the uh, orange liqueur? What do you mean? The, the uh, white lady. lady. Yeah. Green bottle. Thank you. Uh, favorite drunk food of all time is... Wait, what is that? Unagi don. A big ass bowl of grilled eel and rice. Yeah, that Ooh, sounds good as that hell, sounds actually. Good as hell. Japanese drunk food? Do you? Shishidos or musubi? Ooh, spam musubi bugs. Tangeray for this. Man, musubi? Let's go. We have people of class in our chat right now. Trey is very concentrated on making this drink, y'all. I'm timing it correctly. And some good courses, right? There was one time. talking about shishito peppers we saw it on the menu at 210 jack after i finished my therapy and i was like hmm should i get one we said not to can you uh put this one away from me mm -hmm. all right this does not have any alcohol guys it is just an egg yolk here you go All right, and with that being said, that is the white lady. Um, indicative of the name, it is a very white looking drink, like a pearlescent, uh, creamy white color, kind of milky. There's a head on it, so it's kind of like foamy yeah. a little bit from the just shaking that egg. Oh bite. wow, it's so pretty! It looks like snow. Oh, that's really pleasant. Oh, that's like oh, it really. Nice. It's so light. It goes in, flavorful, and it then smells disappears. Like one of my rich auntie's houses. It smells like her foyer. Pretty good, right? Wow, that's super tasty. Damn, that's not a sipper. That like, it goes down so quickly. I can get drunk off those. Wow. That's super nice. Oh I went God, to my well. favorite Izakaya two weeks ago and ate an entire bowl of roasted shishito. <laughs> Damn. That sounds like a good time. Followed by way too much other stuff. Uh, I no. just dinner on the night of the concert are nom noms nom noms oh shit i just punched the shit out of this light y'all <laughs> uh <I> would... <laughs> yes no was what i was thinking what thomas said 
classics. Whee! I didn't even know about half of these until today. This is super yummy. Yeah, it's really good. Take that light. Take a good old that right hand, right, the right, right jab. Do you think my right, right jab is the nastiest right? Your right jab is pretty clean. So I've been teaching her boxing, guys, and her right jab is pretty nice. Everything, the hooks get me, dude. My, my hooks. I, I think I just think too much about, cause then you could see me thinking about it. Yeah. Cause you know I'm like, bam. You do this bam, thing where you, you, gotta you like, look at the in the direction that you're punching before you do it and stuff. I got tails out the ass. Yeah. We're working on it though. Is there gonna be a summary of lights in the Discord? Huh? Shit. That's okay, the light probably deserves <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Mm -hmm. The last one is the French 75. I will say we can't make that one today because I was a dum-dum and forgot to get champagne. We have sparkling water, though. Can we substitute it out? I don't think that would give it the same. I don't know if it will work the same, yeah. though. Don't project with the arm. Keep it light. Keep it tight and throw from there. That's what Trace is too. Hooks gotta come from the waist and the legs. I think it's because like, in all the media that I watch, you know, it's exaggerated. So I'm like, I gotta exaggerate it like everything else. But no, when you when you, you watch a boxing movie, they're of course gonna like play up the punch. So yeah, because like... I was watching that um that match that Fisty put on. Yeah, uh, fuck, who was it? They like the dude like to do this. Clinch? He did this. Yeah, that's clinching. <laughs> I mean, that's a strategic thing. You can clinch to get like a break or whatever. You can clinch in excess, but. And the referee was like, hey, hey get apart, go, 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 go. Yeah. The old man was like, arr, 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 arr. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> he said, arr, arr, arr. <laughs> When you were showering. <laughs> yeah, I did get into it. Really? It was on TV, so I watched it. Dude, it. I'm telling you, when you watch boxing or like I was UFC, like, I like him. His back looks nice. <laughs> I, I said that a lot when I'm watching. Yeah, dude, like his back looks really good. I'm like shit. Keep fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Fight for me. Uh, they're all classic. Wait, no, you can make a Sazerac, Negroni, Tom Collins, or a Singapore Sling. Yeah, he kept clinching. Both guys kinda... were like. Peace. I'm kind of in a mood for a Negroni if you want to make one. Oh, I want to try to make one for you because yeah. I think the DOS has sobered me up a little bit. Also, I'm talking about nice looking bags, so I got to be sober a little bit. <laughs> Can you close that bag though? Yes, or else you're about to have stale. Yeah. Dots. Um, yeah, I would love a Negroni right now. Okay. How does one make a Negroni? But, like, how do you feel with this, uh, the white lady cocktail? This is delicious. I would absolutely have this. I would love to go to the bar and just be like, hey, this one. I feel like that egg white is needed for this. If it wasn't there. Dr. Taco! Hello! Wow, Welcome back I haven't to this seen Dr. Taco BLT in a while. bar. We have the things. We have. Wait. Because they asked specifically for rums last time. So We've we got... have all kinds of rum. We have a. So when you guys tell us to get something or like, hey, you want to try. You want us to try this thing out. We listen and we go out and get the stuff. We have updated the bar tenfold. Um, we have a lot of liqueur now. Yes. We have a white rum, a spice rum, a dark rum, uh, rye we whiskey. Have black we have rum. We have a black rum. We have all kinds of whiskey, um, vodka, gin. So most of the stuff you suggest we can make. There are a few things that we cannot make. Campari, we do have Campari. We do have Campari. Someone said you can make a Singapore sling. I just didn't know if you had cherry Kiri. Benedictine. I literally picked that up at the store. What is that? It's a uh, it's a herbal liqueur. Uh, I think based out of France, I think. I could be wrong on that. But yeah, I picked, I picked it up at the store and I got kind of confuzzled because I was looking for uh, Cochi Americana. Couldn't find it, oh. and in the process, I put away the Benedictine, so I forgot to get it. But I cannot find Kochi anywhere, or Bruto Americana. 
I don't know what those are. They're liqueurs. Uh, I think they're a part of the Campari family. Okay. But, yeah. All right. If you want me to make a Negroni, you got to tell me. Yeah. So, for Negroni... Do I have to shake it? Let me uh, bring it up real quick to make sure we have all the stuff for it. Yeah, Dr. Taco, I haven't seen you in a while. How you been doing? I'm going to make a Negroni myself. Cheers. Awesome. Hey, 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 hey. No. So, Feelings is also making a Negroni no. as well. Dog, you've never tried to look at the toilet bowl. Do not do that, please. Do you go for the toilet? He's too small to even try, <laughs> to be honest. Gin, vermouth, Campari. One, one, one. Okay. All right. Do we shake it, though? Thank you, Dr. Chaco. Gin, vermouth, and Capari. That sounds is like it, you would shake it. Is it dry? Dry what? Shake? No. Is it... I would assume you would ice? put ice in that. Generally, dry uh, shaking is reserved for things that like like eggs, so you can get that, that whipped consistency. Mm. Um, make okay. it light and fluffy. So do you want me to make it for you? Yeah. Did our internet go out? Are you are y'all still here? Can you guys still hear us and stuff? Ah. My internet got really shoddy just now. Nope. Yep. We're here. Okay. They're there. Stir that Negroni. Yep, I can hear. Okay, everybody can. Okay. Okay, we have stir. S so you stir it. Okay. So can I put it in a shaker and still stir it? Yeah, you can stir it in there and just don't okay. shake it. All right. So, we need one, 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 right? Yep. Yes. Gin, vermouth, Campari. Okay. Gin. Let's go to... The apple one. Here. Vermouth. Do you have vermouth in the fridge? It's sweet vermouth. Right. I, is it, I'm is asking. It sweet? Yeah. Is it the one we're using? Is it sweet vermouth, guys? I'm guessing it's a sweet vermouth. Sweet vermouth. Right. Shit. Oh. Ow. We're just going to Okay, there I'm you go. literally looking right at it, dude. Okay. I just drink a Negroni. <laughs> Sweet vermouth. Your preference. Perfect. Man. Thank you, guys. Uh, okay, so one to one to one. I'm going to do one ounce of each. Should I do two ounces of each? Oh, I'm going to do one. Yeah, unless you want to make two cocktails. Then... One ounce of each. Okay. Okay, so one ounce of gin. Wait, did I read that right? One to one to one. Gin. Get the eyes out for me, please. Yeah. Um. There you go. Campari. in there oh Gin, perfect vermouth campari and then we shake right oh no no you we stir, stir. Yeah, so stir. just put ice in there um, all right so on the sweet vermouth i really like weekly called uh Car carpano and tika formula Oh, oh, I think Larry has talked about this. Really? The Antica sounds really familiar. That's one thing with this. This could be a whole episode. It's bitters and uh, oh, yeah. Campari. Like, liqueurs and bitters could be... Well, 
Yeah, liqueurs have bitters could be two different episodes. Where we just explore what liqueurs do and that kind of thing, what bitters do. Recently, I've been looking for a chocolate bitter, but I can't find any in the stores. Is there a the strainer that's over here? Oh, shoot. Oh, right here. Wait, is that the... Oh! That makes sense. There you go. And then make sure you hold that top on there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Negroni, okay. Capano is a little more uh, pricey, solid stuff. Yeah, it isn't cheap. How much is it? Well, I know it's going to be allocated a, depending I on the I want to make a uh, thingy for you. Garnish? Yeah. So I've been really into this whole dehydrated garnish thing. Mm -hmm. I see like fresh lemons on like the, the glass or... So, you know, fresh orange slices or whatever. But whenever I see like a dehydrated lemon or orange on there, it just does something way more to me. This one's a lot better. Oh, what you doing? Um. What are you? Yada! <laughs> oh my god. You take, a drink. you take a picture of this. Those look like two <laughs> white chromosomes just duking it out, bro. We, we dehydrate limes. Cheers, feelings. All right, so this is my Negroni that she made, guys. It's not too bad looking, right? No, it's not bad. The, uh, the... The garnish looks a little bit like fiddlesticks, but that's okay. From League of Legends? <laughs> uh, I dropped 30 bucks for the... Uh, is 12 to 14. That's... Oh, God. Whoa, what are the ratios on that? One, one to, to one? One to one. I did one to one to one. Does it need ice? I think Negronis have ice, right? Ooh. That don't that that ain't right. Fuck! Or put this ice back in there. Well, I think it just needs one big piece of ice. Is what it is. You stir it with ice, but you don't serve. You, do you serve it with ice? You can, for sure, you can. Cause I think Taylor had a Negroni. I don't think you like. You don't have to. You don't have to like serve it with ice. That that bitter is just so strong in there. Wow, it is very bitter. What did I use? Campari, gin, vermouth, right? Well, I did one ounce of each. Hmm. Actually, I'm, I'm liking it more than when I'm drinking it. Not going to say anything. Go for that second. Feelings, what are you going to say? Yeah, f feel free to say it. It, it... So, do we have baby palettes? Did I miss something? Something feels off about this. Is the vermouth bad? What vermouth did you put in there? Sweet the vermouth? Sweet one. Yeah. No. But it, how long has it been there? You know what I'm saying? It hasn't been vinegared or anything yet, so. Honestly, it's a drink that's not for everyone. I mean, I like it, but it's just that bitter. Baby gamer palette. Fisty said it. <laughs> you come here and you drink this, Fisty. Which drink is this? This is a Negroni. So one part gin, one part sweet vermouth, and one part Campari. I think it's good, but it's a little overhyped. Do you make Negronis with whiskey? I feel like you do. Yeah, I feel like this... The beginning taste, that initial... The, the front of it, delicious. That, the back end, it's just nothing but this It's very dry. Bitter, it is. Not even dry. It's just bitter. That would be a Boulevard. Oh, God. Please help me. Boulevardier. With whiskey, correct? Instead of gin? Yeah. That's the one I made a few days ago. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, I made one of those and sat by the fire and it felt... Oh, I bet that was nice. It was great. I don't dislike it. I like it, but it's just that... This seems more up your alley for sure, but it's, it's pretty stout. Yeah. Well, I, don't, I wouldn't even say stout. It's just bitter. That bitter yeah. note is pretty strong. In there. I feel like it needs some... Maybe... It, I think I might prefer it with ice that's in there. Yeah, I think one solid, like, clear cube of ice. We got a big old chunk. Do you want that one? Go ahead and top it off, yeah. It's not going to hurt it. If anything, I'll just water it down. Chunk, chunk. Oh God, Brew! I didn't know you were back here. Come here, friend. Come here, buddy. Come here. You over here stomping I'm on our sorry. dog. I'm sorry. I didn't know he was back here. I thought he was at the stairs. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. That martini is really good. I'm sorry. <laughs> she says, Brew, no. You were so quiet. I didn't know you were back here. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, All right, Thomas, Thomas and Pup, we're going to do some pets. Here you go. We'll get some pets for you. I'm sorry. All right, to finish off this cocktail night, let's go ahead and make a simple cocktail that we invent. Huh? Let's just make something random. Oh, okay, okay. So... We should have a brew can. Brew! Oh, I'm sorry, brew. Mm. We, did, ha we did have a brew can, but he's so weird. He very rarely sits in his bed. We'll start to figure something out. My friend, did you get like an egg yolk or something dropped on your ears? You can feel his ears. Feel his ears? Yeah, dude, the other one. Did you have something spill on you? He has something on his ear. What, what, what fell on your ear, buddy? You have to be trying to sneak something. Come on. The brew cam would be just be Ling beating him. Oh my <laughs> god. Who said that? Fisty. <laughs> Shut the hell up! <laughs> I did not be my dog. I'm just clumsy and I step places where he is. All right. So, all right. What, what's gonna be the last drink we make? I want something with cream. With a cream? Yes. It's a mess from the egg you dropped. <laughs> I don't remember if I yeeted it at him though. I don't think I even yeeted it at him. Okay, let's see what we got. So should we do something whiskey? We haven't done anything whiskey based yet. Let's do a whiskey. Do you want to do a like lavender cream whiskey thing? Okay. So get the uh, violet liqueur. A creme de violet. Let's do a Irish whiskey. Okay. And. What's another flavor you want to go for? Irish. Violet. I don't be him. He just happens to be where my fist <laughs> land. Ling probably. Stop! You guys are framing me! <laughs> he could have gotten out of... She already <laughs> She already typed the line! <laughs> These guys are throwing me under the bus! Help me, babe. Hmm? They're throwing me under the bus. No, they're right. <gasps> no, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> you want to get a huge shot? Shut up! <laughs> you guys are mean as hell! <laughs> oh god. Okay. What are we doing? Um, I'm making a random cocktail. Okay. You got the red breast and you got the violet cream. Yeah, I'm gonna do the red breast for sure. Okay. I actually lull the stress. <laughs> I'm gonna do the red breast with um, some violet liqueur. I'm also gonna do. Um, Yo, I'm still working on my sidecar, bro. Let me taste the red breast. I haven't tasted it in a while by itself. All right, just kill the sidecar, bro. Fun fact: if you uh, collect whiskey or you have whiskey that you don't drink very often. Once a month, turn your bottle upside down just to get that cork wet and, you know, malleable because the last thing you want is to break off your cork and your beautiful bottle of whiskey. Yes. So. 
Like it. What? Why, y'all? What that cork, BB? What that cork, BB? Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. That's what I want. So. So. Red breast, violet. Um. Mm. I'm gonna go for some elderflower liqueur. Liqueur. You're over here trying to mock me, but you can't even stand up straight. You have bottles you're laying on. I don't. I have bottles I'm laying on? Yeah, you're leaving one. Oh my god, I'm trying to fight the urge to sit on the ground, dude. <laughs> you know why? Why? Because you're drunk. St. Germain! Enjoy that stuff. Yes! The very first time I had St. Germain, um, I had Hendrix gin for the first time. Wait. Who said Saint Germain just now? Um, conundrum. Did you see me grab this, or did you yeah. just like kind of guess? No, the bottle was pretty recognizable. Okay. You grabbed it over here. Nothing worse than a dry or broken cork. Yes, all of it. You. <laughs> but never store your whiskey bottles on the Shut side. Up. You never want your uh, whiskey just like sitting on your cork for days at a time the alcohol content is very high and it will eat away at that cork and if you unless you like cork flavored whiskey mm, my favorite but yeah the very first time i had saint germain was our social media manager at work she's a big gin girl um but she had brought in hendrix because hendrix is one of her favorites and she had brought in hendrix to share with everybody and had brought in saint germain's elderflower liqueur this is the very first time i had it and i was like all the gin I had tastes like pine tree me or whatever the hell I said a couple years ago. Um, but she made basically like uh, the the mix between the Hendrix and a little bit of Saint Germain, and I fell in love with it. It was super. Ta Damn, dude, you got you were about to stay in the uh, the table. What? I didn't drop a single drop. I, did, did I, I he remember. said I didn't drop a single drop and y'all there is a whole ass puddle. I didn't even see that drop. I'm sorry. Does whiskey go bad in, in a decanter? Um, it, right here. It's hard to describe. It doesn't really go bad, but it gets watered down. So what happens is the uh, alcohol in the decanter will evaporate over time, which would just make for a watered down whiskey. So, it won't necessarily be bad for you, but it just won't taste, like, it'll taste like wood water. It won't taste good. It won't taste, mm. uh, Because yeah. my, my, we had that, um, was it a scotch? It was a, it was a uh, Johnny Walker that my parents have had for years. Johnny Walker Black, I believe. Literally a huge ass fucking bottle of it. They got, they got this Johnny Walker when they first moved to Tennessee back in 2004 and there's still stuff in that bottle and recently me and my brother and him tried it and it did not taste good we were like <laughs> and it's just because over time that whiskey uh, or that alcohol vapor evaporates uh, I can never make fun of the thing again I just dropped my phone on my face ha me too I do that too Wait, what's that one TikToker that goes, ha! Uh, ha! Is it good? Oh, Ikazo! Ikazo! Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's guy right. that uh, does the anime the reaction. fight reactions, yeah. You should try an old friend sometimes. Gin, grapefruit juice, Campari, St. Germain, and lemon juice. Oh, that sounds delicious, actually. I like grapefruit juice. I like cranberry juice, too. Wait, where's the... Oh. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Whiskey can technically never go bad. Yeah, it doesn't really go bad. It, just... it does aerate and change the alcohol content and flavor every time, just like you said. Yeah. God damn you, Trey. I was getting there. <laughs> you big feelings, dude. <laughs> I know my alcohol. I do have to school all the whiskey dolphins that come through the distillery, so. I thought we were back because it was this poor little lady. <laughs> I think she was just lost.
For by Friday, can you make your channel point rewards one? Wait, what? One tenth of the cost. <laughs> oh God. So that weekend. So that would be. People were redeeming the uh, the musical left and right, dude. Yes. It would just be a musical stream. Wow! So blue! Wow! If you want the recipe for an old friend, it is 1.5 ounces of gin, 1 ounce fresh grapefruit juice, 0.5 ounces Campari, 0.25 Germain, 0.5 element juice, shake with ice, double strain, and you chill gas. Alright, so this is the drink I just made. I'm blue, da dum dee little... da dum die, you da dum dee da dum It's a little shot. Um, I feel like now I'm gonna call listen, them. Now, here's the stalk about a little guy that lives in a blue. I'm doing it quiet so you can talk. And all day and all night, and everything he says is just, just blue, like, like him, him inside and outside. Blue his house and the blue little window in a blue corvette, and everything is blue for him. And he says, and who says, and body, your body will listen. I'm blue, I'm blue, I'm blue, I'm blue, I'm blue, I'm blue, I'm so I'm if call... I were green, I would die. Yeah, Tony, let's get it. Also, Fisty, yeah, you said it too, but yeah, let's go. This drink, I'm going to call Fairy Wings. It's a shot for two people. Okay. So we have to take it as a shot? Or... So it is uh, some Smells Iris, good. some Red Breast Iris Whiskey, some uh, Creme de la Violet or Violet Liqueur, and a little bit of, uh, I had one more thing. Oh no. Elderflower oh, liqueur. Okay. For the sippers. Oh! That is good. That's very tasty. That's very tasty. Okay. Let's describe it. It's very. It's gonna sound <laughs> weird. Thomas said, wow, free performance! <laughs> Name it Trey. It's the Apple 65. I'm gonna name this uh, Fairy Wings. I'm blue, da -dum -dee -da -dum -dee. It's bottom What do you think? Blue, da -dum -da. It's pretty. It's like a cobalt blue, blue color, like a. Steel. It tastes like a, like if a fairy had landed on a mushroom, just to take a little rest. It's. <laughs> oh God. I will say, not to toot my own horn, this is really good. <laughs> It's very, um... Damn it, Fisty. <laughs> it's very, very good. It's, um... Will you take it as a shot or do you want to sip it, though? Because you said you, you can do either. Because I, I wanted to create it as a shot. But taking sips, it's not strong at all. It's like a very refreshing, light, floral thing. Um, I get lavender. Uh, like, very floral... The yes. red breast doesn't really come through, but I, would, I like that. So I think you can replace the red breast with any Irish whiskey. Like a Tullamore Dew or a yeah, Proper say, 12. Probably something maybe a little bit not Yeah, go cheaper. Expensive. Don't go with red breast. Go with like a Tullamore Dew or a red breast. Or I'm sorry, a Tullamore Dew or a Proper 12. Or uh, the corn. Sexton would be great. It's being tooted. Toot toot. Um... Let me give that toot toot. I'm gonna make that ring ring. You pour yourself something. You with did about, not drink it. With about half an ounce of uh, elderflower liqueur, so elderflower that adds like liqueur. that like nice floral. It's sweetness. almost like a like a like a mm -hmm. like a little like a. This is a cooling drink. It's not like super cold, but when I drink it, it feels cool. Speaking of horn, I actually saw. Um, on Wait, my what? horn, gotcha. uh, I saw a uh, tuba cam that I did from eight years ago, guys. Eight years. I used to play sousaphone, and for people who don't know what that is, it's basically a tuba that you can carry 
on you. Um, but I used to play sousaphone and I had a, uh, like a camera that I would tape to it. Uh, during marching season, the very last run through, I would uh, turn on the, the little thingy. Uh, I, and I got to listen to myself from eight years ago play tuba. At the very end, I got chewed out because uh, I didn't march. There was something that I kept getting wrong and I heard myself getting chewed out, so I was like, oof. <laughs> Honk! Can, basically, yeah. Can, get your mind out the gutter, Trey, eh? Ha 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 ha. What? Oh, we got a band nerd! Yeah! And you were great. Oh, thanks, Thomas. I was ass, but it's okay. <laughs> Why don't you play, um, Conundrum? If you're a band nerd. Thomas the Pup was, uh, one of my band kiddos. I love him to death. Where do I put this? The uh, Irish is that? Oh, Irish is this way, actually. Um, yeah, uh, play sousaphone and tuba for a little bit. I will say, my tone for being a flute player all the way to switch over to tuba was not terrible. And for marching too, it wasn't shitty. It wasn't good, but it wasn't shitty. It wasn't bad. It, was, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good. But it wasn't. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know about you, but. First chair drum, oh shit, hold up. First chair drum line, did concert percussion, kitten jazz band, and did a <laughs> So the person that made our intro um, is actually my brother. And my brother had started off in percussion as well. He was third base for a long time, uh, but he also, he's a bassist through and through, but he's played bass drum for forever. He's done like, uh, what's it called? Like indoor percussion, he's done DCI, the whole nine yards, which is super cool. So yeah, good to have a fellow concert uh, a percussion music. Oh band wow, here. how's it going, King Kylo? What's it's up, King Kylo? How's it going? Uh, we can go ahead and get a shout out for King Kylo. Actually, Wildflower, if you're here, if we can give him a, give King Kylo a shout out. I was just watching me and Wildflower were just watching him the the other night. He's playing Final Fantasy X. So. Oh, dope. That's cool. Yep, it's a lot of fun watching. I have it on my PS5 and like, yep. I gotta try. There's so many games I have on it. Recently I got a PS5, guys, and like that system just, I waited so long for this thing. Thank you, Wildflower. You are the best. Um, Yes, I'm glad I could be your dope senpai, uh, Thomas. I love Thomas a lot. I still love Thomas a whole lot. Shit. Um, I meant to add this to it. But what's up, King Kylo? Oh, so my brother played in Music City, M M C Music City, Music Music City Drum Corps. So it, it was just the, the Nashville uh, Drum Corps. He this had a couple friends. Oh, cute! He played. Oh, I want a little bit. Never mind. I guess I just yeah. met. But, I was can you take a picture of me? Blue and green. That's cute. I'm blue, if I were green, I would die. If I were green, I would die. If I were green, I'd die. Ah, very cool. He also played in, um, not Music, music City Mystique, uh, Audio Theater, which is a base out of Clarksville, Tennessee. Um, he played with them, auditioned for them for a little bit, played with them, and now he's actually, I think they're social media managers, which is super cool. Uh, PS5, Mythical Machine. But yes, for those of you guys who have not gone to go check out King Kylo, he is a wonderful human being, plays lots of fun games, very big into Legend of Zelda, but we just recently saw him playing Final Fantasy X, which is a lot of fun, so you guys go give him some love. He is a whole lot of fun as well. So, uh, Carolina Crown stopped in Arkansas. Yeah! Carolina Crown was one of my favorites. I really liked their E Eagles MC Squared show, which was super cool. They were the Purple Pants Band. Gray has no idea what I'm talking about right now, but no. I think you might. <laughs> mm. I'm hanging. That's good. That's a delicious garnish. Holy shit. Sugar in the raw, mm. crusted uh, lime. Mm -hmm. That okay. goes perfect with that. That's really tasty. I think if it were dehydrated, it'd be better. Mm-hmm. 
Not our first one. That show is, is iconic. Yes, I remember being uh. obsessed with that show. And I like printed out some of the pictures for that I had gotten. They performed in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, which I got to go and see. And I like took a couple pictures off of my like shabby little Canon camera or whatever. And I posted them all over my um, like my band uh, binders and stuff. But the Purple Pants Band, yo, that show was so fucking good. Let me tell you. Santa, Santa Clara Vanguard, let's go! Starry Night was really good. I have a uh, magnet on the fridge from that Starry Night show, too. <laughs> he has no idea what's I have no idea. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just kind of like... I gotta bring my brother on, too, because he's super big into it. But, um... It's yeah, I, Jakey hasn't been on Sunday, except for me. Now, nah, he's usually busy on Sunday nights. Or he has, like, a really busy weekend because he plays with Triple Crown. No, plays. He does uh, social, social media, media for Triple Crown, yeah. and then he does social media for... Um, audio theater so he's super busy but yeah good shit uh the cavaliers were my boys for a long time um and then my band director really loved the blue devils but the blue devils always they're like the they're they're the cream of the crop the, yes everyone's yeah. always like blue devils are always gonna be good obviously so <laughs> i'm over so i'm a i'm a dance guy yeah Blue Devils are the Jabberwockies of dance. Mm, mm-hmm. Yes, the, absolutely. The Jabberwockies aren't the best of the best, but when you hear the Jabberwockies name, you're like, like "Oh, it's Jabberwockies!" Yeah, yeah. I, I know who uh, they are. Oh, it's Blue Devils. Yeah, they're yeah, the yeah. Lincoln Park of rock. That kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yes. Where you're like, they're they're so well known that I don't have to be a fan of this subject or uh, genre to know to them. know about them. Yeah. Yep. I had some Blue Devils autograph. Woo, hell yeah, there you go. My brother actually played with them. They had like a live learning event that we went to and he played with them at this little live learning event for a little bit. I think 2013 is what it was. So that was a lot of fun too. Um, I had started up a fund actually because I wanted to march uh, Phantom. I wanted to march Phantom for a little bit, so. Well, thank you so much, Carla, for the lurk, and thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi. Sorry, we started geeking out, so. <laughs> um, this, is, this is something special. Eh? Lime crusted uh, raw sugar. Just go for it. Like, bite into it, kind of. No, you didn't get the mm. lime and stuff. It's a little bitter, mm -hmm. a little sweet, mm -hmm. but it's not super sweet because it's sugar in the raw. Mm -hmm. Okay. Phantom Regiment is amazing. Yes. Nice and balanced. Their show, Juliet, was one of my favorites. That was their show that made me want to be like, I want to march for Phantom. Um, also, their, 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 their hats were nice. Fuck, I don't remember the word for it, but yes. Phantom Regiment, beautiful. That shit is good. Oh, wait, I have to finish this. But yes, anyway, uh, we're going back to talk about drinks. Sorry, we got on a tangent. Um, conundrum, if you use Discord, feel free to type in exclamation point Discord. We are, I am more than happy to continue talking about drum corps DCI on Discord. Um, probably post it in the music channel or like even just a regular general um, lounge. We'll talk about that too. That shit is good stuff. Cheers to DCI and music and band. You don't have any cheers with you. Yeah. Everybody is everybody else with us? Is anyone else still here? <laughs> well, with that being said, I think we're about to end. <laughs> you mean you don't want to derail the entire stream with this? Thank you, Fisty. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. <laughs> well, with everyone here, um, I think it, we've hit that time of the night where we start to wind down for the now. Um, Did we want to raid anybody tonight? I know it's a little late. You can but... look and see if we have. Do you have anyone particularly? <sighs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Conundrum. Well, yeah, we so really appreciate for... it. Yeah. We are always watching. Always you, you silly lot. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're still here. <laughs> They're over there just like quietly in the back with their drinks, like. 
when are they gonna stop? <laughs> you know, whenever like you're at the grocery store with your parents, and when they see one of their friends, they're like, "Oh my God, hey!" And now you have to, you're stuck oh with the cart, just like waiting for your so mom or your dad. The worst or part about that is my mom does that, but she also does it with people she doesn't even know. She's like, "Oh my God, I love your shoes," and they're like, "Oh, thank you." And she's like, "Where'd you get them?" And I'm like, oh, "Damn it!" <gasps> I'm gonna be here for 15 more minutes. <gasps> Shit. <laughs> All right. Like the last time we went to go see my mom, actually, she was. We were walking in Jungle Gems around the grocery store. It was a big grocery store that we were walking in. Yeah, a huge international grocery store, and she was like hugging on me, and she would like just find random people, just like random people, like this is my son. I remember this. Look at him. He's. This is my son. I'm like, oh my god, stop! What Some are you of you guys have met her. Actually, she's Yogi Ma. Um, yeah. She's been on chat in, in chat a little bit, but she hasn't been on in a little while. But yes, that's exactly what she was doing. And Trey was like, Ugh. she's the most embarrassing, like awesome mom ever. So I think, very thankful of her. But yeah. Yes, um, feelings. Um, if you guys have not joined the Discord, pop into the Discord. Feelings, hop into the promote or promote yourself uh, channel at the very bottom, and then plug your um, podcast that you do with your friend. Yes. Because Trey A will be featured in there, and for people who want to view podcasts already made, our friend Little Fisty Cusper has also. I haven't said his full name in a while. That sounds weird. Fisty has also been um, featured on this podcast. Super cool. Yep. About movies. Um, lots of fun. So I'm very excited about it. Um, I actually had a very it didn't last very long, but we're still trying to get back up and got back up with it. A movie reviewing uh, little podcast um, with my friend Khalid. Papa but, Bear. So we'll get back into that. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited to join uh, Feelings and you know dissect movies that's one of the my favorite things to do ever um so i'm very excited about it um any announcements for this week at all <coughs> so for this week um Tuesday. I, i'm not sure if i will be streaming or not i again <coughs> you know guys know i already have two jobs and stuff so it's very yes. hard for me to stream and find time for streaming i, but I will make uh, time for sundays I, however, will usually shoot to be on Tuesdays. I will be playing Animal Crossing because I'm currently still fucking broke and need to pay off the raccoon. So yes. we'll be doing, I'll probably be doing some more Animal Crossing on Tuesday. So you guys are welcome to join in. Um, just check me out. Uh, may, there may or may not be drinks, but we are going to try to pay back this raccoon. But usually Sundays and Tuesdays are the streams that you can count on. Yeah. Um, I don't know if Trey's going to be able to this week or not. It is. Thanks. Thanksgiving, I guess. So I, I like, should be able to stream, but like, we did our Thanksgiving kind of early. Yeah. So uh, most likely this week I will be free. Um, of course, when if I when I stream, it will be Visage, just because I like to complete games before I drop them. So uh, I will be trying to complete Visage, and then as for the next stream, who knows? We'll find out. <laughs> uh, so. Fisty, yes, that podcast is the one where they talked about Lola Bunny having a fat ass. Oh, Lola Bunny. Just yes, uh, Papa Bear is currently working on editing some of the podcasts so that they're able to be put out a little bit more. He also is a little bit busy with new, a new job, all the good jazz. Yeah. Um, so they're wanting to start that up probably sometime in the next year um, as the new year comes in. So keep an eye out for that. But again, feelings, make sure to plug yourself in the promote yourself. Um, mm -hmm. Make sure to put the link where people can check out your podcast and stuff because... A lot of fun. I listened to the one with Fisty and it was a lot of fun. So yeah, and that, and that goes for all of you. If you have something like a yeah. side project or anything that you want to like get out Show, there, tell the world. This about. is the time to you know share that. Tell and, us you know, about. if you want us to be a part of that process, then just let us know. Um, but yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Any other announcements for this week at all? Are we all in debt, Mr. Nick? Yes, we are. Absolutely. So <laughs> most likely Thursday will not be a stream Thursday or Friday just because it's you know. Holiday Thanksgiving season, I guess. and uh, Black Friday, so that's time for you to spend with family, friends, or to yourself if that's what you prefer. Yes. Um, so I will take them Thursday and Friday, just you know, chill some time with myself, just kind of do my own thing. Um, but bef uh, during that off period, I may have a stream here or there. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah. He's a little bit more random. You can count on me for Tuesdays. So he's like a surprise stream. So yeah. uh, keep in. We, we, we usually will announce on Discord when we're going to be streaming. And then sometimes our Instagram, but mostly Discord. So just yes. hop on Discord to make sure that you can keep in contact with all of us. And yes, um, Thomas, we are all in debt to Mr. Nook. Yes. That's just a- Thank you so much, Conundrum, for hopping by and tumbling in. Uh, we do appreciate you coming by and talking. Yeah. Everybody else also joining us, too. Thank you so much for coming by and hanging out with us. I'm, like, close to incoherent now. <laughs> so We'll make it through tonight. Yes, we will. We really do appreciate you guys. I know it's been a, a little bit since we've done. It's been a couple weeks since we've done Sunday Sipping. So thank you again so much for joining. We, it really does mean a lot to us. So yeah. lots um, of fun. You guys have an awesome night. Be safe. Social distance. Wear a mask. Take care of each other. Take, Take care, care of yourself. Each other. And uh, we'll see you most likely on Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, either your, I don't know, your 50th Sunday Sippin' or your first Sunday Sippin'. Thank you so much, Feelings, for helping us because we don't know how to bartend and you do. Yay! And guys, <laughs> Good night!